Keep moving. guy. Okay, finally, I can go home. Oh, shit!
Judge me some more? What is this, a test? Damn right it's a test. I met other survivors like you. They were more trouble than they were worth. Uh, that dead body over there? Is that one of them? Hey, dead guy. What am I in for here? Break open that crate. Pick up the gun. Now, switch to your new gun. Uh, that was the test? I fucking nailed it. Wait here. Get ready to shoot some OD. OD? Overcharged drinkers. My partner Floyd says drinking overcharge caused their endocrine systems to go into overdrive. I'm gonna throw some overcharge onto the court. Get ready for the real test. The OD are addicted to that stuff. They'll be here quick. Here they come. Still alive. That's a good sign. Come on, kid. Where's the cops? The National Guard, the, the, the news helicopters. Wake up, kid. Fisco controls everything. Can't we just call for help or something? It's not that easy. Fisco cut off all communications outside the city, but I have a plan. Fisco did this? Not on purpose, but they're doing a hell of a job covering it up. The rest of the world thinks we're all dead from some kind of virus. Come on, we gotta keep moving. Two-Hat Jack. He makes weapons. You sell me short, buddy. I'm a master craftsman. I make unbelievable shit. Go ahead, kid. Fire weapons. You want more weapons? You come back with more overcharge. Yeah. Come on. I want you to meet Floyd. new partner well all right my name's Floyd intruders Shoot you for no reason. Way to deal with them. Shoot first. Uh, you can't 
us the scabs of the scabs, right? Just get out there and make sure you grind up high and bounce around. If you stand still, they'll murder you. Okay, kid. Come on back. I'm gonna head out to the overpass. Put the kid to work. Okay, I could use some more supplies. Head on down to the tracks. I'll explain on the way. By myself? Hey, I know there's some scary shit out there, but it's all in how you look at it. You tell yourself you're gonna have a good time, you'll have a good time. Am I right? But seriously, those motherfucking OD will tear you apart. Be careful. I marked the location of the parts on your map. Make sure you collect all of them. I used to be a physical scientist, head of the Extreme Files team. Those freaky little microbes are the secret ingredient in Overcharge. Limitless potential in those things. I warned Fisco that they might be dangerous, but they flew me off. Didn't give me enough time for research. See, if you cook Overcharge in a high-pressure bag and mix it just the right ingredients, you can get some hunted awesome yet. I call them amps, and trust me, you're going to love them. Your street name is Heisenberg, is it? There's another truck further down the tracks. Jump on the train tracks and climb to the next stash. poison their own customers. You got it wrong. The whole thing was an accident. The Fisco execs were so worried about competition, they rushed overcharge through government testing. They fucked up, and now they'll do whatever they can to protect their stock price. We're not getting out of this city alive, are we? Not with that attitude, we're not. I look at it this way. The apocalypse is our chance to be whoever we want to be. No bosses, no rules. I call it the awesome apocalypse. Apocalypse, apocalypse.
All right, so I've been working on some things I call amps. I have some that are almost ready. I just need a few more things to finish them off. There should be some fizzy balloons out in the base. Grab them and bring them back. to equip those amps. How? I mean, if this were a video game, I could just go to a menu or something. Pay attention, player! Uh, why am I hearing disembodied voices? Because you need to learn some shit. And studies have shown this is the best way. You equip amps on the character tab. There are different categories of amps. Select the hero amp with your Lock hero amp. Equip your new hero amp. Now, let's do your weapon amp. Select the weapon you want to amplify. Weapon amps can only be equipped on level 2 weapons. Choose a weapon amp to equip to the weapon. Huh, I don't feel any different. Oh yeah, amps only activate when you fight with style. This is the style meter. It's your best friend. Use traversal combinations to fill your style meter. Bounce, grind, and swing. Stay on the move. Killing enemies while grinding, bouncing, and doing acrobatics also creates style. You need practice. Go to the parking lot and activate your first app. Bounce on cars and grind on wires until you reach style level one. Select the victim! Your hero amp is now active! Get on the ground and roll into enemies! With this new amp, you Now you need to get the style of the to use your weapon amp! Grind and bounce to build up style! Now, go pick some amp! Because of players like you that we have to create tutorials like this. Open the weapon selector and switch to the high fidelity. Activated different levels of style. Hero amps activate at style level one. Weapon and melee amps activate at style level two. Weapon amps activate at style level three. All amps go batshit crazy. If you just stand there and do nothing, your style meter will decay. So keep moving and killing. Stay with me. This is almost over. This is the combo counter. You get bonuses for multiple kills and traversal combos. The higher your combo counter, the faster you build up style. Kick ass! You're on your own now. Don't fuck it up. Yeah! What? Now that's fighting with style. Come on back, I got some good news. Right on! This is gonna be fun. When this stuff is cooked, I'll have an amp ready for you. The reason we're cooking this shit 
is to make new amps. Trust me, you want amps. Now remember, soon as this shit starts cooking, those OD'd are gonna come running. Most important thing, keep those motherfuckers away from the vats. If you fail, don't worry. This is the awesome apocalypse. You always get a do-over. I set up some barricades and traps around the base, but those won't hold for long. Get out there and keep those OD from getting into the base. All right, the last step is to turn the valve and start cooking. They're coming in fast. Try to take them out before they even get to your traps. Hey man, there's the outer barricade. There's a group of OT and one of the barricades. The flaming commentator can set them all on fire. They're moving around the bank. Ride and bounce, baby. Come on. They're breaking down the main barricade.
I didn't tell you about the big end of night explosion that wiped everyone out. I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Good news is... Okay, some amps I can cook up quick. You just gotta bring me the ingredients and I can give you the amp right away. Just go to the amp chamber and drop off the ingredients to get your amp. You'll find amp ingredients all over the city. Here's your shopping list. Busy balloons are filled with hydrogen fluoride, a super acid to help kickstart the reactants. Smelly ass shoes are a potent source of sulfur dioxide. Camera lenses can help isolate the extremophiles. Neon signs can give me some radically ionized particles good for organic conduction. Pranksters TP'd the city. Stupid, but works in our favor. Toilet paper is the perfect catalytic substrate. If you're having trouble finding any of this stuff, Two Hat Jack sells maps with their location. Some amps need a little more time to cook. You'll have to defend the vats while we make those. I'll call you and let you know when I need your help to protect the vats. Be sure to equip those amps and let me know. How you like them? Hey, they have something new, just your style. Come find you me the overpass. Full of secret, I'm waiting man. on you. Hey. Walter, what did you do for a living, you know, before all this? Why does that matter? Okay, so you were a professional mean person. Got it. I used to be head of physical security. Used to be? Hmm, sounds like you didn't leave on good terms. A couple of years ago, they got rid of me and all my men went totally automated. Big mistake. Mistake? After a colossal corporate fuck-up, we are the only ones who know the truth. And we're trapped inside a walled-up city full of zombies with no contact to the outside world. I'd say security is doing a pretty good job. Mutants, not zombies. Big difference. Right. We'll get out, and soon. Now hurry your ass up. Hey, you know what? These Santabots have some kick-ass cleaning fluid inside. If we break it open and get the fluid, we can use it to give our vats a deep cleaning. That means better amps for you and better research data for me. Go ahead, bust this thing open and get the cleaning fluid. Yeah, all right. There should be some more Santabot units around here somewhere. Find them, smash them, and get that cleaning fluid.
enough to upgrade the port, right? Try something new. Thank <laughs> you. 
now. Back to Floyd. Yeah! Nothing better than a nice, clean bat, except for maybe a foot rub. I love me some foot rub. Anyway, enjoy the upgrade next time we cook an amp. I got a situation here. I need to move my operation to the construction yard down the street, but it's full of freaks. Can you, like, clear the shit out of the place? Oh, and if you see any scabs, don't say anything about me, okay? Fuckers beat me up, and, well, let's just say we got history. But I need it to make my special recipe. Oh shit! The scabs found me! Don't let them take me! Use your guns and shit! You can even use my ethanol! It's a super dope explosive! Pick up one of those barrels and chuck it at them! I'm gonna go hide, yo! Blow the shit out of those scab holes! We know you're here somewhere, Jeff! Come on out! We just wanna keep you brewing! I promise not to hurt you like last time! You can make it on your own. We own the whole market. I make a superior product.
saved the shit out of me, yo. Take some rewards and shit. I'm gonna get set up and start brewing the best batch of vodka ever. Then I think I'll have myself a nice blue velvet martini, yo. Give you one last freebie. Here's 60 seconds. A batch of crazy time! First one's free. They're coming to the other ramp. Kid. What is that? It's a glider. Once I'm over the walls, I'm gonna expose Fizco's lies and make them pay for what they've done. You really think it'll fly? I know it will. As soon as I make a few more adjustments to the launch mechanism. Wrench. Okay, I need you to lift up the carriage a bit more. Like this? Now keep it there while I tighten this. Don't let go. I might have to let go. Not yet. I have to let go now. No! Yeah, did you see that? You're lucky I was here. You. What was I supposed to do? Oh, of course it's my fault. Yeah, thanks, Dad, who's not my real dad.
guess I'll just head back to the base. Maybe I can help him rebuild the glider. Wish there was a quicker way to get there. Jack will take good care of you. If you find anything good, send a commission to Two Hat Jack. Don't worry, man. He's been pissed at me plenty of times. It's not like I did it on purpose. Look, I want to get out of this city just as much as he does. Hey, let's make lemons out of this lemonade. He's got to rebuild, right? Hardest part is going to be the propeller. Why don't you head over to the old factory district, have a look around. Blades. I guess I'll start at the old Crown Blades factory. Yeah. Hey, as long as you're out there fighting some combos and building up style, use those amps. Trust me, amps can make or break you out there. Icon dealy thing on his head, so am I supposed to chase him? Yes, you should follow him. Okay, scary the fool voice man. There should be another way around. Are you dead? 
it too? I need someone to me. Is anyone gonna save me? Wow, that was amazing. Are you like a superhero or something? What? It's just the way you move, the, the things you do. Well, good luck, kid. My name's Sam, but since you saved me and all, let me do something for you. Nah, not unless you know where I can find a propeller. A propeller? Wait, wait! I have an idea. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Follow me! We gotta get out of here! Follow me! Oh man, what is that thing? It looks dangerous. I'll take care of it. Watch out! More of them! Let's go through the shipping yard! Sure, what could go wrong? Up there! On the shipping containers! right now, Floyd. But I found a guy who might help. All right. You don't hide in shipping containers all day. Look out! You're my hero! That's cool. I'm not taking any sidekicks right now, though, okay? Go ahead. I'll follow you. Oh my god. Stop. Never gonna get out. We're all gonna die. Oh my god, you're right. We are going to die. Wait. No. Okay, we're just going in circles. Okay, big Sam. Then why would you even suggest stealing a train? Because we're about to die? Well, in that case, I have played several hundred hours of Tube Simulator. That sounds boring and awful, but potentially life-saving. They're breaking through that barricade! Look! Here they come! Now we're really gonna die! Tornadoes, the tornadoes of death. Let's clear. Let's get out of here. I'll see if I can get the train started. You check the train for supplies and keep the OD off me. Check the train for supplies? What the hell does that even mean? I don't know. Build a weapon or something. Oh, okay. Huh. Let me see what I can put together. <laughs> I guess this was heading to Toys for Terrorists. One of these. Some of this. Couple of those. Cute and explodey, like chocolate and peanut butter.
You, my friend, just drove a freight train. I did. You drove the shit out of it. I saved it. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. Come on, our safe house is just down the street. So, Sam, what were you doing at that factory all by yourself? Oh, you know, looking for supplies for me and my friends. They send me out because they're all doing other important stuff back at the base. Important stuff? Like what? I'm not really sure. Yeah, these friends of yours, are they really friends? I like to think so. We were all students at Oxford West College. Oxford West? Isn't that the school that all the rich and famous send their kids to when they have to go into rehab or whatever? Yeah, but it's a great school. I got a scholarship. The only scholarship. Everybody else paid their way in. Anyway, when the OD attacked campus, only a few of us made it out alive. One thing before we go in. My friends are having a hard time coping, so go easy on them. If we can get everyone working together, we're gonna make you an amazing propeller. You with those preppy kids? My friend Calissa is there selling clothes and stuff. You go see her if you want to change. Oh, and listen, don't be afraid to try new things. You never know what's gonna fit until you try it on. On that philosophical note, bam, I'm out. You need some money. <laughs> and I'll get so, am I invited to your birthday party, life coach? Uh, <laughs> awesome friend? Yo, Daywalker, hi. We dropped the shit out of our bags running for our life when the city went all cray. Those bags are like full of totally vital stuff. You think you can get them for us? They're GPS chipped. Getting them should be a cinch for you. the apocalypse. Thought for 
for sure they murder you. Oh. If anything, I'm a man of my word. This thing reeks. Ha! It's packed with tons of used body spray cans. I have never seen so many flavors. Midnight Prowler, Midnight Panther, Midnight Jungle Cat Panther. One. That was easy. Backpack is mine, Preppy! Get some more ammo! Don't fuck with me, yo! Wow, this thing is heavy. What's this? A foot spa? <laughs> what kids have textbooks these days? Get these back to the Oxfords. Our vitals! Yay! You didn't have any trouble, did you? Nah, typical quest stuff. Bad guys, bad trees, junkyard side quests. Enjoy that foot spa. Do me a favor and GTFO. That's Dirk. His mom is an award-winning physicist and his dad is an astronaut. He's really good with aerodynamics. Aerodynamics? How convenient. He's also a health nut. He only drinks like the most expensive water on the planet. Bora Bora water! You can't afford it! There's a bottling plant a few blocks away. If you can bring back a couple bottles for him... Wait a sec. You're telling me that the only thing that will make this guy get off his ass is some brand name bottled water? You don't know him like I do. Yeah, I don't want to know him like you do. Trust me, once we give him what he wants, he'll help make your propeller. If you don't buy a fortune, you'll be sorry! You, my mother? You wish I was your mother? No, I really don't. Anyway, I found a group of worthless spoiled brats who just so happen to be geniuses. I gotta do some stuff for them, and then they'll build me a propeller. Nice! Walter's out at the overpass rebuilding the glider. That propeller's gonna help a lot. Don't tell him I'm working on it. I want it to be a surprise. Walter doesn't like surprises, but then again, he doesn't like much of anything, so see ya! Contamination detected. Facility offline. 
Awaiting activation of emergency flush system. All right, time to flush this factory size. Emergency flush system activated. Just kidding. Obstruction detected. Pressure level critical. Release safety valves to prevent complete and utter disaster. I gotta open those safety valves. Another emergency flush system is awaiting activation. I need to find a valve that'll flush all this garbage away. Emergency flush system number two, awaiting activation. Emergency flush system number two, activated. Once again, obstruction detected. What the hell is going on out there? Pressure level critical. Release safety valves. Or die. Emergency flush system number three, awaiting activation. Where are they all coming from? Emergency flush system, offline. Until you figure out where those ODs are coming from.
Emergency flush system complete. Facilities online. Delicious, fresh, vitamin enhanced Bora Bora water. Now available for delivery. My work here is done. I'm out, bitches. Time to grab that water and get out of here. What's his face? Hope it doesn't kill him. Look at all those OD. You did it! I mean, not that I had any doubt that you would. Wait here. Hey, Dirk, I got something I think you might like. Sick. Ah, oh, fuck, that's good. Purest water on Earth. Ah, oh, thanks, Sam, you rock. Yeah, sure, anytime. Uh, can I get that propeller now? Soon. Dirk will certainly help, but we need to get a couple other people on board. You need some money. That's Margaret. She's an engineering major with, like, the highest GPA in the history of the school. But she lost her dog when everything went down, and she hasn't been the same since. Finding that dog will go a long way to helping her depression. Hey, whatever gets me that propeller. There's a dog park across the river that she always went to. I would check there first. Attention, player! You earn badges from playing with style. The more stylish you are, the more badges you will earn. When you earn enough badges, trade them in for overdrives. Overdrives give you boosts in your abilities. They're awesome! You can now unlock your first overdrive. Select the empty slot to equip a new overdrive. Want to unlock more overdrives? You gotta earn some badges first. You unlock and equip overdrives in the character page. Play how you want, and you'll get better at the things you enjoy. Nice! The dog park is over in Little Tokyo. You'll have to cross the North Bridge to get there. The bridge? Nah, I can just jump across on these boats. Boats? Ugh, yikes. Open water scares me. It's just a river, Sam. It's not the Bermuda Triangle. Hey, the Bermuda Triangle is no laughing matter. Hundreds of ships lost. Thousands claimed by the sea. Not only is it a hotbed for tropical storms and magnetic anomalies, but I am pretty sure I heard about alien abductions and leftover technologies from Atlantis causing ultrasonic... Sam, I found the dog! You did? No, I just wanted to save the world from the rest of your story. <laughs> just call me when you find the dog.
Um, weird dog. Come here, pooch. Aw, oh, what's your name, boo-boo? Come on, boo-boo. Margaret's looking for you. What the fucking fuck? Hey, Sam, did you maybe forget some of the details about Margaret's Lobo dog? The thing won't follow me back. He must be in some kind of recovery mode. If it doesn't recognize the voice trying to command it, it will only interact with its favorite toy, Cutie Kitty. Listen, there's a toy store pretty close to you. Just try looking there for the kitty launcher, okay? Or you could just tell Margaret her dog is dead. That dog means a lot to her. Fine. Oh, wait, Sam! The dog is following me now. Oh, great. Oh, no, it just committed suicide. Sorry. Mission failed. What's next? Just check the toy store before giving up, okay? Oh, but giving up is my special move. Stupid dog. this thing for you? Hmm, how can I make this fun for me, too? Well, how about... Hell yeah! Hey, Sam, I got this stupid dog excited. Now, how do I reboot it? Not the best news to break to you, but Margaret has to do that here. Of course she does. Just try to get used to how he moves. You have a long trek back. Thank you for the reminder. Go get it! Ready for another? Hey, I have something new. Just your style. Good boy! If you fire the cutie kitty near a structure, Boo Boo will do a trick. in recovery mode, he'll only go places he recognizes. But Margaret always walked Boo Boo over the North Bridge. Try luring him there. One other thing. You can't use your guns. The dog will sense you as a threat and kill you. Well, at least this will all be over. Don't worry. The dog will defend you as long as you have the cutie kitty. Try him out. It's actually pretty cool. <sighs> A good boy, aren't you? Okay, dog. Sam says you're a killing machine. So let's see if you can kill some OD for me. Hey, buddy! Who got that kitty? Who did? Who got the kitty? Next. 
Hopefully it's a place with more things to kill in it. Down to the intersection, and then down the main street to Sasquatch and friends. Thank you, Sam. You're the best. Sure. Anytime. Yeah, really nice work, Sam. Okay, we need to convince just one more person to help. Then we can start building your propeller. Max is the math wizard at Oxford West. If anyone can calculate a propeller for optimal lift, it's him. I think he's worried about his parents. Maybe you could go check on them. New fashions just came in. Max's parents live in the penthouse suite of the tallest tower. Those Fizco execs make a lot of money, you know. Well, there might be a product recall on their latest drink. I'm just saying, I'm sure that can't help the stock price. You'd think, right? But nobody on the outside knows yet. Most of their stockholders probably think everything is running smoothly. With perhaps the exception of Max's parents. Correct. They're probably dead. But there is a chance they made it into their panic room. Of course they have a panic room. Yeah, I had an entire panic apartment. It looked just like my normal apartment, but with boarded up windows and me inside, panicking. Isn't there a chance Max's parents turned into OD when everybody else did? It's possible. Be careful when you open that panic room door. Fair point. Right here at the fancy town tower. You could have given me a heads up if this place was crawling with scabs. How would I know? I'm practically a shut-in after Horror Night. Although, it makes sense. Once you secure the bottom floor, you have all of the fittings 
the space above you. to get to the higher floors is what I meant of course hmm. well, this will work I just thank you very much Puzzling puzzle. Hey, you're killing a lot of people. Don't worry, I won't tell. As long as you drink some overcharge. <laughs>
No panic room here. Must be on the taller tower. Hey, I just talked to your doctor. Bad news, you're gonna die. <laughs> Let's drink some overcharge right now. Find some weird sex stuff. Huh. Voice recorder. Max's parents' dying words? Secure, let's find out. Oh, shit! needs to know what happened to his parents. Max, if you're hearing this message, then it means you're still alive. Shame. Your mother and I are going to live in the Bahamas, where cashing out your trust fund so mommy can drink a lot of champagne and daddy doesn't have to get are still alive, but they're major assholes. Stole his money and left him for dead. Yeah. I'll break the news. Yes! Freedom! Thanks, Sam. Best news ever! So, Sam... You expect us to believe you went out and did all this stuff by yourself? I think you had a little help. Who gives a shit what you think? You guys just sit on your asses all day while this hero goes out into the city. All to get you a bunch of useless shit so you can be happy. I don't know about you, but that inspires me. Makes me want to be a hero to this hero. I know we can do it. Together. We're gonna have to work hard. Sam forgot one thing. If you don't help him, I'll throw your ass out on the street to fend for yourself. I'm on board with this. Hey, let's get to work. Cool speech. I'm ready. What is it? It's a 3D printer. It's gonna make you a new propeller. Oh, cool. Yeah, I know. Mm, but it needs a faster processor. Of course it does. I'll see what I can find. Oi, Max must have really hated his parents. because of cheerleaders? Well, more like cheerleader assassins. Right. You know, tell Margaret to take a break from the comic books.
help you kill things even better. You have fun with your top secret map, huh? Now stay in one piece. I don't have too many other customers. So, Floyd, any idea where I can find some high-end computer parts? Computer parts? Nope. You sure? Yep. Oh, no! There's a guy that lives in a cell phone tower nearby. He's got a ton of computers. <laughs> Almost forgot. That's what I thought. I'll check it out. How do I get over there? Watch yourself up there. Been hearing a lot of gunfire coming from up in that treehouse. Some people say there's a crazy hillbilly up there who'll shoot anything that moves. Sounds like a walking cliche. Man, we're all walking cliches in somebody's eyes. Now, if I was a tree-dwelling hillbilly, where would I keep my computer parts? Gotcha, you, you visco some bitch. I'm not from Fizco. What do I look like? An asshole? Well, maybe not a Fizco asshole. But I'm gonna shoot you anyway, just to be sure. Wait, listen, I'm not Fizco. I'm just here to steal computer parts from How'd you think you were gonna do that when I got this here gun? Yeah, I got guns, too. Damn! But how do I know you can use them? I'm an American. I can use a cocky son of a bitch like you. Looks good on camera. I need footage for my new show. Get out there and show me what you can do. And don't worry about dying. That looks good on camera, too. Thanks. Because I wasn't already creeped out enough by you.
Well, I got cameras all over that warehouse down there. If you're as good as you say, we should get some great footage. Sweet. I always wanted to star in the redneck running man. Welcome to Buck National versus the Apocalypse. Welcome to Buck National versus the Apocalypse. My audience has very discriminating tastes, so you gotta do exactly as I say.
this. parts are on the table. I got my Bucky's perched in blinds all over the city. Camera's ready to roll. Just find them and do what you do. You'll be paid back in kind. Get off my lawn. Freedom. I'm just like awesome. Let's see here. And we're off. Hey, if you do find a way out of the city, you'll come back and rescue us, right? Come back? To Sunset City? Why would I Of course you'll come back and save us. You're you. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I questioned it. <clears throat> so this will take a few hours to finish. Uh, I'll let you know when it's done. Hey man, it's Floyd. I'm ready for another cook. Come on back when you're ready. Copy that, science guy. I need a few more ingredients before we can start cooking.
ingredients we need. Don't lose them on the way back. Looking. The name's Reginald. I'm what you'd call a hobo, vagabond, mobile survivor. Friends call me Red Caboose Reggie, on behalf of my potent chili stew. I've got a bit of an issue with this here train. As I'm sure you noticed, it's not going anywhere. I need some new digs. You think you could procure the train engine over in yonder yard? This engine, the Chili Cone Reggie Express. You think you could escort this steamy can out of the station? For you, Reggie, anything.
to put together a hobo jungle. No one around to stop old Reg from cooking. <laughs> if only some of my hobo buds were still around to join me. Well, at least you can come back and see me sometime. Thanks for the kindness, friend. Did you see those traps outside the base? I ran out of time setting them up. Can you finish the job for me? Set up a few more hack and slay traps around that barricade. Get out to the front of the base. I've been messing around with some trap designs. Just uploaded the plans for a new trap to your phone. Hack and slay traps will chop up any OD that gets near it. Those hack and slay traps won't hurt you, don't worry. I just uploaded the fling board trap to your phone. This trap will send enemies back to where they came from. Be sure to point it away from the base. Switch to the fling board trap, then place it. You gotta keep an eye on your power usage. Each time you place a trap, it will use up some power. When we're out, we're out. You can always remove traps to get power back. Keep an eye on your traps. The OD can destroy them. If a trap is destroyed, you'll get power back. Power grid is at max capacity. Place as many traps as you can. These traps should be good for tonight, but we'll need better ones soon. I'm no engineer. Or am I? Well, there might be other survivors out there who know how to build better traps. So look around when you're out in the city. When you're done placing the traps, turn that valve, and we'll get down to business. All right, way to use up all that energy. If you want some energy back, you can just pick up any trap you already placed. They're coming in fast. Try to take them out before they even get to your trap.
those amps work out for you. Uh, this old guy, his, I, I think his name's Walter, he came in, said he knows you, so I gave him your propeller. Wait, what? He looked kind of pissed. Yeah, that's Walter. Hey, kid. Nice try with the propeller, but you fucked it up. Meet me at the old guys. God damn it.
working my ass off to repair this thing, then you go behind my back, make a new propeller. You looking to steal my glider? No, it wasn't like that. I... I'm fucking with you, kid. Can't you see me smiling? Ha ha. It's a fine propeller. We're almost ready to fly out of here. The only problem is, a few minutes ago, some scabs stumbled across the glider. I held them off, but they stole my glide wheel. Glide wheel? Sounds made up. Well, how about you make yourself up a way to get it back? And hurry. Those scabs will be back soon. I'll wait here. I saw the scabs heading towards the amphitheater, down by the waterfront.
smokestack updraft to give us enough of a boost to escape. toward the power plant. We need one last big boost to get us over the wall. Next time, try not to make it so dramatic by being so fucking slow. Also, thank you. My pleasure. Just don't forget about me. I mean, us. Don't worry, we'll send help as soon as we get out of the city. Good 
job, kid. Good job. Turn back! What? Why? It's too late! We'll miss you, you cranky motherfucker. I'm sorry, Floyd. I just wish I could have saved him. Best thing you can do is keep being yourself. Keep that swagger going. Cool? Yeah. Hey, Walter talked about this guy. Named Brill Cream. Says he was the smartest guy around. You find that guy, I bet he'll figure out how to escape the city. Brill Cream? What kind of a name is that? One that's easy to remember, I guess. Anyway, Walter said there was ham radio signals coming from a Japanese museum nearby. Might be him. You should check it out. I bet you're wondering how Walter and I ended up together. Now, I just assumed you were twin brothers. So many similarities. We met at a party. Or was it the DMV? I can't remember. Anyway, one thing I do remember is Walter didn't judge me for how I looked, how I talked, how I dressed. He told me, don't judge people. Now judge stay their in one actions. piece. I don't have too many other He guys. was kind of a zen motherfucker that way, and I loved him for it. He and I talked about you a lot. Uh-oh, my character moment sense is tingling. There's something special about you. But it's buried beneath a whole lot of wise ass. Gee, thanks for the revelation, Freud. Damn it, I took your point, didn't I? Like I said, man, I don't judge people for just their actions. My point is, don't let you get in the way of yourself. Did you just cook up a philosopher amp or something? We have a serious problem. Scabs set up turrets on the boardwalk near the diner. How do you know that? None of you ever go outside. Secret cameras. Fizco installed two types around the city, the big ones and tiny secret ones. I hacked into the tiny secret ones. That's so you, Sam. Thanks. Anyway, turrets on the boardwalk. Can you take care of them? So I've been watching them set up these turrets. They somehow automated them to blow away everything except scabs. You gotta help me figure out how they did that. using secret cameras to oh. You don't feel a bit creepy about that? I, um, well, I thought I was more watching over the city, like a big brother.
Did you notice the dish set up on the stage? Uh, pick it up for me, would you? Looks like you're using that thing to control the turret. Oh, let's mount it on the roof and see if we can do a counter hack. Plant the dish on the roof and let's stop those turrets. Easy, easy, easy. Scabs have moved their operation across the street. They have the turrets programmed to ignore assholes and hoodies. So I can hack them to ignore you if you're not being an asshole. So I need to keep my mouth shut. You need to fight with style. You know, not like an asshole. Just keep your style up. Get rid of the scabs and don't shoot any turrets. We need them. turrets around here. I'm gonna reprogram these to shoot anyone that looks like an asshole so you can use them too. Oh, aren't I amazing? Hello. Are you still there? So, this Brill Cream, he's a lifelong scouting expert and troop leader. He and his senior troop were marching in the parade during the overcharge party, and I guess they all got chased to the Japanese museum. What do you mean, senior troop? Come <laughs> on. 
these traps. Nice designs. Real cream. Hello. Maybe he's inside. Locked. I will not be defeated by a locked door. Plan B. To the roof. Ha! I'm a ninja breaking into a Japanese museum. How did you get in here? I'm looking for a guy named Brill Cream. Troopmaster Brill Cream is missing. Well, maybe I can help you find him. Maybe you'll be lucky if I let you live. Kind of a dick, huh? Treason! Arrest for Kim and banish her from the troop! Chill out, Mussolini. I am the troop master, and this is my troop! Ah, oh, man. Are you gonna tell me where Brill Cream is, or what? You wanna find Brill Cream? You must do as I say. care of that radio tower. We've got impatient troopers over here. My troop has been trying to locate Troopmaster Brill Cream via radio, but all they hear is this. Doctors recommend drinking 17 cans of overcharge a day. And... The radio station is located here. If you destroy all three transmitters around the tower, we have a better chance of locating Troopmaster Brill Cream. So, you think you can do that? Sure thing. Be right back. What is that? blew up so vague. Holy shit, looks like that kicked the hornet's nest.
One more. To the top we go. Hey! It's me, Fizzy! Trespassing and destruction of property is a serious crime! <laughs> Get ready to die, asshole! A giant blimp is attacking me? Fisco's marketing is getting really aggressive. You know what sounds like fun? If you stop moving for a second! your radio for you. What? You're alive? I'm gonna lose to a blimp. That would be humiliating. Well, my troop thanks you for your service. Goodbye. Wait! You'll let me know if you find Brill Cream, right? Oh, yes. Brill Cream, of course. We'll keep looking for it. Thank you again. Hey, it's Sam. Come back to our base. There's someone here that wants to talk with you. And she's kind of cute. Secrets. Let me try to remotely connect to it. Frack! It needs to be plugged into the Fizco network somehow. It's using a 512 bit land slave triple hash encryption algorithm. Oh, if only there was a Fizco network plugin somewhere. There's a busy fortune machine over there. Want me to ask it for help? You're a genius! Bring the core over to the fizzy fortune machine. Drop it there. That's it. Okay, gotta go fast before it locks me out. Hold on to your butts. Whoa, it's squeaking out or something. This is some seriously messy code. Give me a couple more seconds. Compiling now. But it did. You killed me, asshole! What did you do with my body? 
Are you carrying me? Ah, keep your hands off me! I'm being molested over here! Didn't have enough, huh? Give me a balloon! Just one! I'll finish the job! Where are we going? I'm upside down, you moron! around this empathy chip. Stop typing in there! What? Oh, what is this? My morals hurt. He's <laughs> crying overcharge! How is that possible? See if we can shut him up. What's the point of it all? I'm a monster and I deserve to get my face melted off. I'm gonna blow myself up and I'm taking you with me, asshole. Uh, Sam? Brad, I'm locked out. Take him to another machine, quick. What are you worried about? You're all gonna die anyway. Every single one of you. Put your fancy clothes. in time. 
time. He's fully deactivated. Okay, now, where was I? Oh, my God. What? No wonder he's insane. Fizzy was designed and coded by a focus group. A focus group of robots? That's right. 20 elite focus group bots. Programmed to program and programmed to kill. They cannot agree on what is fun. We will build with a fun sensor. And we demand that you are not fun. And therefore, you must die. Did you enjoy Fizzy's red lasers? Psychologists agree that the color red makes consumers salivate. ourselves to be robots. I'm gonna smoke your ass, bro. You can bounce on cars, and I can. This is not fun, and you must die. Robot focus groups are never wrong. cannot measure fun because they cannot agree on what is fun. We were built with a fun sensor. We detect that you are not fun, and therefore you must die. Did you enjoy Fizzy's red lasers? Psychologists agree that the color red makes consumers salivate. Research says balloons are fun. Release balloons for maximum fun. Robot focus groups are never wrong. Damage. Circuit 19 of 20 robots agree that winning is more fun than losing.
You suck. Wow, that was weird. Come back to the machine. I'm about to reboot Fizzy. I turned off all his hardware except for his empathy chip. He might not even turn on. What? What? What have you... My thoughts are clear. I know what I am. I was made to sell a product that kills people. Well, technically, you just mutate them. I should have never existed. Please, cast me into the bay and drown my memory into oblivion. Sam, what do I do? I don't know, but he has a point. The world is better off without him. Go on, into the water with me. Perhaps a fish or a... I know now why you cry, but it's something I can never do. Thank you, asshole. My name is Forkin. Hey, sorry about the whole banished from the troop thing. It's for the best. Troopmaster Norton is a bad guy. Even though he says he's trying to find Brill Cream, he's not. I overheard him whisper something about Troopmaster Brill Cream at the hot dog factory. I hear this Brill Cream guy is really smart. He's a genius. A uh, genius that might be trapped in a hot dog factory? I'm worried. He's been missing for a couple of weeks. We'll find him. You mean, I'll find him. Someone has to stay here and comfort for Kim. Right. Keep up the good work, Sam. So, uh, what's the deal with the hot dog factory? I mean, if you're trying to survive the apocalypse, hot dogs are the last thing you should eat. Master Brill Cream is a master at boosting morale. Maybe he thought a hot dog cookout would lift the spirits of the troop. Ew, that's funny. Because I prefer to lift my spirits with actual spirits. Alcohol is a depressant and has many health risks. You're right. Better to eat processed pig lips and assholes. I'm sure that's healthy. would have, right? Brokring carried a bugle, sometimes. But I'm not sure why he would have brought that with him. <laughs> yeah, you're right. This could be anyone's bugle. I think we just need one more piece of evidence. You guys sure do things by the book, don't you? Troop Master Brokring teaches us that discipline is the most important virtue. Discipline. I'm unfamiliar with that word.
a troop leader's hat. Seems like something a troop leader would wear. That could be Brill Cream's. He was always wearing his hat. Okay, I'm convinced. Either Brill Cream is here, or he was here. You should check inside the factory. I like killing women, whatever. My bad don't Brill Cream is a trained survivalist. He may have locked himself inside. See if you can find a way to bust down a door, or even a wall. Is there any construction equipment around? Anything that might help you get inside? have keys? Hmm, what would Batman do? Probably read this note out loud. Meet me in the park for a picnic. I love you. Okay, well that's helpful. I guess I'm going down to the park to look for some keys. Maybe even have a date. <laughs> hey, poor Kim. Sam's not being too annoying, is he? trying to hold my hand, so I put my judo badge into action and snared him in a rear naked choke. Nice! Go easy on him. I get the sense he doesn't have much experience with the ladies. Well, he's been a perfect gentleman since. He showed me around, I met his friends, he even taught me how to do a little C++ coding. Wow! Be sure to invite me to the wedding. I love free food. Wait, what? Site. So it looks like the crane guy either turned OD or was mauled. Damn it, I need those keys to the crane. If we're lucky, he turned OD. Go kill some and see if any of them have the key. Ah, just what I need. Physical.
something more important to talk about. Okay. So, what do you think of Sam? Really? I don't know why, but he kind of reminds me of this class turtle we had in fourth grade. We set him free in the ocean one day, then we found out later that he was a freshwater turtle. Mm, don't tell Sam that story. deliveries. And now this place is about to be stupid with OD. Good thing I have godlike crushing power. <laughs> I'm gonna crush those OD before they turn into bombers. Dated two weeks ago. What does it say? It says, Our dog spoiled, heading to Hepcats to meet Norton. Scabs on my trail. We'll try to lose them. Let's meet at Hepcats and look for more clues. I knew Norton was involved somehow. Troop Master Norton? Hey, Norton! Search for Brill Cream going. 
<clears throat> Not good. I believe it's... Troop Master Norton? Hey, Norton! How's that search for Brill Cream going? <clears throat> Not good. I believe it's time to call it off. Not yet. I'm following up on a lead. Oh? I found a note from Brill Cream. He said he was going to meet you at Hepcat's diner. Whatever happened with that? Well, as I recall, uh, he never showed up. Where did you find that note? You're lying. What are you hiding? How dare you? A troop master never lies. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important troop matters to attend to. Hey, hey, hey. You know that big parking garage in old little Tokyo? It's packed with all kinds of electronics we could totally use. But it's scab turn. Meet me at Hepcat's diner. I think you know Ford what? him could be in trouble. You could lure some OD oh, over there to help take care of the scabs. My sociology prof said passive-aggressive warfare is the future. I have no career. Come drape yourself in my jeans. need to smash some vending machines and set off some car alarms. Look for more cars or vending machines. Dude, now 
clean up and get those electronics. I saw a bunch of scabs going after her. You gotta get up there. Wait here. I'm trying to contact Four Kim, but her phone is dead. Oh, I know she's okay. She probably turned her phone off. Either that or she's sick of your constant texting. Did she at least go armed? She's always prepared. She had a baseball bat and a book on how to tie knots. Clever girl. I'm at the bottom of the station. It looks like a whole scab legion is occupying this place.
Brill cream is in a garbage truck, but they didn't garbage know where. Truck, huh? And the whole garbage system is automated. The trucks are equipped with GPS transmitters. If you come back to our base, I might be able to figure out a way to track it down. Okay, cool. I'm on my way. Wait. How do we communicate with Sam when neither of us is holding a phone? Uh, you know, technology. Technology. Let's not complicate things by poking holes in the way we deliver the story, okay? Oh, okay then. I'm gonna go back to the base and be magically gone by the time you have control. Fine by me. That's not weird at all. Man, I found a new place to set up shop. More square footage, better feng shui. Come on over whenever you get a chance. I learned a few other things while I was interrogating those scouts. They said they were working with him. He was supplying them with players in return for protection. Asshole! But then he sent them to the train station as soon as he hung up with me. I would go kick his butt right now, but he has the right to move on his side. And the only way we're going to win him over is to find the world cream and return him to the troop. We're working on that right now. I need to do some research into the garbage truck system. Their signals are analog. Ugh, tough to track down. Call me when you figured it out. You bet. the place don't worry you can still go back to the brewery if you want uh, but this base will let us brew some new amps I installed another vat so make sure you check in on both vats often we got ourselves a nice corner spot here but that means we'll need to protect the base from two angles like I said we got two vats now which means better amps but more vigilance you know the vats all pull from the same source so we'll lose overcharge if either one gets attacked Remember to use your traps, and you should do just fine, for the most part.
intro. Expectations are set. <laughs> you better not fuck this up.
Track down that garbage truck and find Brill Cream. Go pick up the analog hacker I sent your way. Fork him and I worked through the night on this. It's pretty brilliant if you ask me. Oh, right. So anyway, we need you to get to a satellite dish nearby. We'll explain on the way. The satellite dishes are the best tool to help us find Brill Cream. Right. You see, by using the dishes, we can triangulate his last known position. You know, our troop has a monthly T-hunt, which stands for Transmitter Hunt, where someone sets up a transmitter in the forest. Then we all walk around with parabolic receivers. And you plot the position yeah, of the transmitter by triangulating two vectors to the source. Very accurate. Yeah, you it's come really back fun. Soon, okay? We only get a compass and a paper enough. map. Don't make it all weird. Guys, guys, stop before one of you has a nerdgasm. I'll use a letter for me? Huh. Want to uncover the truth behind Overcharge? The real truth? Wait for my call at the dog park. Ooh, sounds intriguing. Better head to the dog park. Is that a phone booth? Or a public toilet? Or both? Hello? Were you followed? Uh, I don't think so. Listen close. We're gonna blow the lid off this whole conspiracy. Fisco was supposed to burn all the top secret memos, but one of their admins dropped some into recycling bins instead. Those bins are now inside recycling trucks parked around the city. Get the memos and bring them to the dead drop location. This is some serious spy movie action. This would be way better with some spy movie music.
No recycling waste for you. Drop the memos off in the dumpster. I'll process them and set up another meeting. We're gonna make Fisco pay for what they did to us. Okay. Hope Mr. Mysterious knows what he's doing. Satellite dish. We need to find real cream signal. Okay, you're patched in. 
Let's test it out. Aim the dish at the museum. But true, Master, I could have sworn I heard... These are dangerous times. And dangerous times call for us to become men. Do you understand? We should just give up on groping? Isn't our motto to not give up the rain, snow, or sleet? You don't need him anymore. You have me. Son of a beeswax! I will twist off his tiny little... Okay, sounds like it's working. Aim around and listen for the truck's beeping transmission. The needle will top out with a clear audio signal. Hold on. Hold that sound noise. 100,012, Mississippi. 14,100,013, Mississippi. That's him. Yes. I'm recording the vector of your dish. Fisco, backtraced our hack. Watch out. that jammer. So for Kim, do you have a boyfriend? No. Okay. Well, no. Oh, Sam, you are smooth. So smooth. Find Brill Cream, what are the chances he'll figure out a way to escape the city? Well, as I just learned from Fort Kim, Brill Cream literally wrote the book on troop survival strategies. So I'd say we have a pretty good shot. Unless he's dead. In which case, we're fucked. Not how I put it, but yes. marked on your map. Why don't I just follow the... No, that's not how triangulation works. Better listen to her. <laughs> she can be... What? Right. All the time. Objective state. 
Subjectivism is hubris. No, not there. We've been eating garbage for weeks. Why don't we eat them fish? You crazy? I bet they're poisonous. What? Yeah, them school group. Gotta be a ma max level sushi shit to cut them right. Let's talk this over, son. You don't have to. I think it would be a good team-building experience. Listen, you mental patient! Four Kim sent me to get you out! Hmm. Well, Four Kim has always been a great troop member. Still, I think I'll wait. Okay, I'm ready to be saved. Ah, shit! Hold on! I'll find something to put out the fire! Anything liquid! Charge! 
Worthy of a fine survivalist. Uh... Perhaps you would like to join my troop. I'm not wearing a sash. Well, your skills are top-notch. I would like you to escort me to my troop. Sure. Um... Back to the troop headquarters! Quickly! Those creatures are coming this way! How long were you trapped in there? 16 days, 20 hours, 8 minutes. It's amazing that you are still alive. I'm a survivor. Do what it takes. How did you find me? That's kind of my thing. When people are in trouble, I grind over with some guns and kill all the troubles away. Master Brill Cream? I... How did you... <clears throat> We've been looking everywhere for you, sir. Why did you have to look for me when you already knew where I was? What are you doing? Open this door! Norton! It is time for you to face the consequences of your actions. I'll drink it! Don't be a coward. Take your punishment like a man. Norden! No! Run, troops! Run!
Of course he grew more spikes. I guess I'll just have to shoot him off. They're almost there. One more hit should do it. Kim, I want to thank you for your loyalty and persistence. Your character and actions are worthy of commendation. Thank you, sir. As for your friend? <laughs> you can keep your commendation. I just want you to tell me how to get out of the city. Hmm, that is a difficult proposition. Fisco has blocked all exit routes. I'm afraid there is no escape. Seriously? Fuck! Unless... I need a pencil. Paper! <laughs> Two, done! Bring these plans to my friend Ignatius, head of the shipbuilders union. You should find him near the harbor. This guy's gonna build a ship? Better than that. He's gonna give you a way out of the city. One thing you should know about this guy, Ignatius, he's a hardcore LARPer. Uh, what the hell is a LARPer? Live action role player? You mean those dorks with foam swords who go out into the world? Woods and yell lightning bolts at each other? It's fantasy fulfillment, and it's a lot cooler than that, but, uh, yes. Hey! I need to work on my maritime badges, but scabs on the whole waterfront. Can you run them out of there? Permanently? You know about scabs. You get rid of them, and the next day, they've all just respawned. Unless... <sighs> okay, I got an idea. First things first, I need to find a harker. But it needs to be a really ugly one.
time to scare these scabs off. Permanently. Ah! What the hell is that? them all away. They're never coming back after that. Thank you so much. Hey, sure thing. It was fun. Hmm, guess it backfired a little. Back off! I'm not one of you! Uh, so one thing you should know about this guy, Ignatius, he's a hardcore larva. It's Floyd. You you probably knew that. I made a new base for us in the harbor. Perfect place to cook up some new amps. It's amazingly amazing. When this is over, I'm gonna buy you a thesaurus. Hey man, I think I figured out a way to upgrade these vats. See, if we add some freon-based cooling actuators and reverse the ionic charge of uh, blah, 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 science and bullshit, just go find some old refrigerators and bring me some spare parts. Hey, I have something new, just your style. If you find anything good, send a commission to Two Hat Jack. Trust you will put her to good use. You come back soon, okay? Not too soon, though. I have the most incredible news, guys.
to make some even more kick-ass amp. They'll be kick-assier, or kicker-assier, or assier kick. They'll be, you know, shut up, you know what I mean? It's flying. 
Boy, you you probably knew that. I made a new base for us in the harbor. Perfect place to cook up some new amps. It's amazingly amazing. When this is over, I'm gonna buy you a thesaurus. God, this is bad. I broke a cat. It says right on there that if you break one, you'll have a lifetime of bad luck. Unless you replace it with, like, a bunch more. I don't want bad luck for the rest of my life. You gotta help me. There's a group of scabs over by the mall. I think they might have some. Whatever. Hello and welcome to Sunset TV. I'm Brandon Winfrey, and let's prescribe you with a full dose of good old Sunset Overdrive. I watch Scrubs, so pretty much a doctor. Last week I said I was going to talk about character customization, but last week I lied because I'm a dirty liar, I guess. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to talk about some weapons, which is a form of customization if you think about it. If you disagree, <laughs> Oh no! He's running away with that last cat! So this is what bad luck feels like. Thank you. 
Now that Real Cream's back, things will finally get back to normal. Well, normal I would be for grateful for your help. Wasteland, I need least. to track someone down. It's for the benefit of the troop. Her name is Kim, and if we find her, she can upgrade the museum's perimeter defense system. We must be discreet about this. Meet me at the apartment complex nearby. I'll be waiting on the street. Don't tell anyone else in the troop. I'll explain later. friend Kim. You can call her just Kim. See, I have four Kims in my name, but she has only one... Uh, whatever. Let's just find her. I know she's in this complex somewhere. She sent me a video of a trap she was making, but I didn't respond. Now she's gone silent. Watch out! OD incoming! Glad you're here. The lobby's up ahead. Come on. The lobby door should be around here. Inside. Why don't you cover the rooftop? Check any doors that look suspicious. Hey, Forkim! Now would be a good time to explain why this is a secret mission. Just Kim is an old friend of mine. We used to be true buddies, but she got kicked out. She's kind of a pyromaniac. This one time she was using bottle rockets and marshmallows, and, well, let's just say she set fire to a few kids. Real Kim was furious. He's a stickler for safety and all that, so she was banned. But she's really good at making awesome traps. We could really use her expertise. Just keep checking doors. I'm sure we'll find her around here somewhere.
can't believe she attacked you. Just Kim! It's for Kim! Stop trying to kill us! For Kim? What are you doing here? OMG! It's you! You have a base at the Hepcat Diner, right? OMG! I've been watching you at night! You're amazing! I know. Um, we could really use some of your turrets. For your base? Or for Kim's uppity troop? Come on, does it matter? Whatever. Okay, I'll give you my turret plans. Thank you. If you show me you can handle them. You will kill one million OD right here on this roof. I'll lure them in from the east side of the complex, but I can't guarantee they won't come from other directions too. Play some turrets and let's get going. One million now that OD, back. I don't want to be Things here all finally day. get back to normal. Okay, fine. Well, normal One thousand. Post-apocalyptic One hundred. Then you give us the plans and we move on. One twenty-five. My final offer. But you can't use any guns. <laughs> Laying out those traps. I said no guns, but you can still bash their brains in. <laughs> okay, ready to impress me with those turrets? Don't let them drink all the overcharge, or I'll make you start over. <laughs>
<laughs> what an amazing show. Okay, the turret plans are yours. Cool, thanks. If you give me your phone number. You know, for trap tips and stuff. Ugh, okay. Just promise not to call me when I'm busy. Which is pretty much all the time. OMG! OMG! Best day ever! Hey! It's Floyd! You, you probably knew that. I made a new base for us in the harbor. Perfect place to... Tuck up some new ammo. It's amazingly amazing. When this is over, I'm gonna buy you a thesaurus. There, I'm looking for Ignatius. Interloper! Whoa, whoa, what's an interloper? Somebody call off Roid Rage! <laughs> Come forth, burglar, and face my justice! to swear fealty to the king? Yeah, fealty. Let's do it. Proceed to the altar. <laughs> On bended knee. Do you swear by the old gods and the new to serve King Ignatius? <coughs> Wait, that's Ignatius? <laughs> do you swear fealty? Yeah, yeah, by all the gods and trees and wizards and stuff. Is my quinceanera over now? <coughs> you may rise. I'm not a doctor, but does the king need a coroner? Alas, our king has fallen ill. I pray you can liberate him from the spirits that afflict him. I sense some epic missions in my future. My name is Wendy. And I'm the only one around here who's not living in a 12th century fantasy. So listen, Ignatius is sick, for real. He needs 21st century food and medicine. Got it. Real food and medicine and maybe a shrink dressed as a cleric or something? Seriously, he needs your help. I'm worried for him. fortnight past, our stores were raided by a band of ruffians. Our king is weak and needs sustenance. Sorry, I don't speak, Dungeon Master. Some scabs stole all our food. Silence, Anachronizer! <sighs> Whatever. We shall journey into the forest together. There, we will gather our victuals. Sure thing, bub. Lead the way. This way! Here we come, Vittles! My 
Dear king, ride thee not, carrot. Ah, a quest. I shall serenade you along the way. No songs till we reach the forest. Now we ride! King Ignatius has not eaten since our stores of ragweed expired. You guys have been eating weed? Ha! That explains a lot. Listen, edibles can mess you up. You gotta be careful. I have faith you will revive after supping on a traditional meal. but much quicker. Holy shit, look at the size of that. Ride thee not. Looks like trouble ahead. A horde of goblins are attacking those brigands. What should we do? Nice! I mean, hi! Continue to the forest of Fogarthia! Our team sickens by the minute! The hour of hunting is nigh! The forest lies close! Bard, climb atop the castle battlements and prepare thine vocals! We shall patrol the forest before our hunt! Behold! The legendary Fargarth Forest! What's with all the dead bodies? Our fallen brethren, slain whilst harvesting tree bark for our king. You're gonna feed your king tree bark? Oh, now I get it. You hate your king, and now you're trying to slowly poison him with bark soup. How dare you? Tree bark is a staple of many a medieval diet. You do know that all those medieval people died horrible deaths, right? <sighs> I keep forgetting I'm dealing with crazy people. Yes, lovely tune, quite enough, Bard. Anachronizer, you are tasked with guard duty while we perform the dangerous and honorable harvest. Do not let the goblins slay us, or our spirits will haunt you for eternity. I blacksmithed up some catapults. They should help in battle. Wait for it! Wait for it! Fire when ready! Fire! Just look toward any catapult and say the word! They'll be dead in no time! To the first corpse of trees! At the power plant! Fire! On. Commence the song of hunt! Castle! 
Mates, but we must continue our harvest. Uh, Chandler, sire, mayhap I have a word. Silence, anachronizer! Where be our bard? Uh, he's dead. Bye! We cannot harvest without song! Uh, can I be the new bard? I'm sick of being a smither. I want to be something more fun. Indeed! You may play as the new bard! Kick ass! Commence the harvest and sing loudly, Bard! Sing for the gods! Orcish archers coming from the power plant! We must harvest with speed, disband, and spill the blood of these miscreants!
English. <laughs> Forsooth, countrymen, that was amazing. Allow me to thank thee for thy skills on the battlefield. Thou dost possess the strength of Samson and the wisdom of Solomon. And the power of love. Now go feed Ignatius that bark jerky and let me know when he's conscious. I have work for him. Let us return to our king with haste! So you know that bark soup you almost died for? It's not, um, hitting the spot. What a surprise! Okay, send a crew to meet me at the farmer's market. We'll haul back some real. a few fruits and vegetables. Potatoes, at least. They had those in the 12th century, right? What the? Where did all the food go? You stupid fat pigeons ate all the food! Why? You can get by on cigarette butts and litter! Ugh! Where is thy food you spoke of? Huh. Fat pigeons. Fat pigeons? They had pigeons in the 12th century, right? Welcome to the Pigeon Dome. Many pigeons enter, some might leave. Use the grind cookers and pyro geysers to roast pigeons. Got a flaming compensator? That'll work too. Rip it out. Ready, set, roast. of this foolishness. Back to Fargathia! With speed! Brigands ahead! We cannot pass! Look at what we have here! Fresh meat! Hand over the chicken dinner! You can't run long to shows rascals no good. Huh? Die, heathen scum! Now, for now. Okay. 
Obvious. Our journey is in danger. We must fight to save the king's beast. Go forth and meet them with the might of the A brave boss. We must protect the king's Our path. Here they come! Nobody let him through! I'm hungry, damn it! He say no not invite to our beast! We must protect the war, but all the hope! Eat, so you may be reborn. If he barks up that gutter chicken, I'm out of here. Our king sleeps peacefully. You have done well, my lord. We are forever indebted. Perhaps you would like to share in the king's feast? Uh, no thanks. I think I'd rather eat bark. Pray pardon, good knight. Wicked Fizco warlocks have tainted Fargarthia. Metallic golems have placed a hidden evil around our kingdom. I get the metallic golems part, but what's this about a hidden evil? They are abominable, pulsing crimson watchers. I beseech ye, destroy them! Look there! The eye controlleth thine metal hand! 
such foul sorcery. Our arrows cannot penetrate yon magic shield. Perchance a pointed stick would suffice. Everything on that map is guaranteed to be fairly accurate, more or less. Another way up there.
scouts shall remain vigilant. Further evil must be stopped if our land is to remain safe. The memos you found contained a shipping manifest. This is our key to some hard evidence. The shipment was scattered around the harbor. Each crate should be marked as a biohazard. Take the contents of those crates to the next dead drop. Okay, Mr. Mysterious. Hey, where's my spy music? My own personal deep throat said I gotta look for more Fizco secrets in the harbor. Trust building retreat or something.
wasn't a pointless quest. The adventure gear might have DNA on it that can be linked back to Fisco research scientists. We're very close to cracking the case. I'll contact you again with further instructions. Our king suffers from Satan's fire. You mean he has a fever? We know not how to release his demons. Perhaps you know a maester of the Citadel. Sorry, I don't know a master from, uh, City Hall, but I do know where to get some medicine. Sit tight. Oh, and when I get back with your drugs, we'll discuss my offense at your assumption that I would know where to find drugs. I remember seeing some pharmaceuticals down by the docks.
medical shipments. Perfect. There's got to be some cold medicine or something for Ignatius around here. Unauthorized access attempted. All Fisco trucks now in lockdown. Fisco security force en route. What? Oh, man. Fisco security defeated. Trucks now open. You earned it. Nice shooting, by the way. Hey, thanks, Mr. Truck. And what do we have in here? Plan A. The night before the morning after pill. <laughs> no, that's not gonna help a fever. Riddle infant? Riddlin for babies? <sighs> It was just a matter of time. Fizzo tested! Ha! Finally, something that will cure a fever. Hey, it's Wendy. So, I hear you're out gathering medicine for Ignatius? Yeah! Actually, I just found some. I'm on my way back now. You need to make a stop on the way. I'll meet you at the park. <laughs> Is that code for get more drugs?
beach pond? Gross. Eh, it gets grosser. Take off all your clothes. Whoa, whoa! I'll try anything once, but I'd like to know what I'm getting into first. Ignatius can only be treated using 12th century medicine, which means bloodletting. I think I see where this is going. You need to strip to your undies and walk through the pond to collect leeches. Fuck that. All right. So it's just your average picnic in the park, then. I feel ridiculous. <laughs> this is gonna be so entertaining. out of that one. Looks painful. No, only in certain uh, specific parts. <laughs> Just one last thing. You need to drink the whole bottle of Fizzotussin. The whole bottle? Why? We need to saturate the leeches with medicine. That way, when we attach them to Ignatius, the medicine will transfer to his bloodstream. I don't think that's how leeches work. Oh, so you're a leech expert now. Hey, I don't see you stripping down, so at least let me run my mouth a little if I'm gonna get sucked dry like this. We need to get you back to Ignatius before you lose too much blood. Hey, wait up! You're not looking so good. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything looks so awesome! Hi there! You're lost, huh? Oh, uh, where's Wendy? Let's play tag! What the fuck? Oh, I'm in the wrong burrito right now. Wait, what am I saying? Over here, this is lame. How can we make it better? I know. Lava! Come and get me! Okay, <laughs> okay, fine. Lava. Grab it.
cheerleader? <laughs> I take it back. Who's a Justin is awesome. Come on. Hey, Fizzy, have you met my friends? Yeah, I don't know who they are either. <laughs> don't leave me, Ninja Chick. Hurry up. What more games to play? Do sheep dream of electric androids? I think the leeches are fully medicated. Let's get them off you and onto Ignatius. Make it quick! Satan's fire has been quenched. You are a hero to Fargathia, and a medical wizard. Perhaps you can take a look at this postulant growth I have on my- No! No! I, uh, only work on kings. Sorry. It's the law. Silence, fool! Chandler made me do it. I didn't want to be the new bard anyway. Now, step forward, Knight of Fargathia. You brought me back from death's cold door. And now, I must grant you a boon. Uh, this guy, Brill Cream, he said you could build me a boat. I don't know if that's the same as a boon, but... Leave the plans with me, and I will study them. Return on the morrow, and I shall give further counsel. What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor? Oh, hey, uh, don't worry. I haven't been drinking at all. Just come back to the base. You're going to like what I've got. Hold! Fargathian scouts report more crimson eyes in the southern harbors. We beg of thee, please, keep us safe from the warlock menace. Hey, uh, I've been keeping my own benevolent eye on the situation over there. Those crimson eyes, they're Fizco control modules. I can't hack them. They're not on any you of the city's networks. You, you can't hack something? Wow, this is worse. I'm uploading a frequency to your phone. You should be able to at least parse their transmissions.
Waiting for Fisco Protocol X26. Protocol Protocol. Hanging boat. Boat protocol turning on. Detecting water. Container waiting for pickup. Holding to wait for pickup. Waiting for Fisco Protocol X26. Protocol not detected. Cargo container waiting for pickup. Holding to wait for pickup. Waiting for Fisco Protocol X26. Waiting for pickup. Holding to wait for pickup. Waiting for Fisco Protocol X26. Cargo container waiting for pickup. Waiting for pickup. Holding to wait for pickup. Waiting for Fisco protocol. Protocol not detected. Cargo container waiting for pickup. Keep doing what you're doing. And well, I got may not be seaworthy anymore, but it Walker. looks like the engine still works. We can use that to take our amp making operation to the next level. What do you say? I got one back on the aft deck. One up here at the center. I set up the barricades best I could. There's some on the port side. I also barricaded up the back loading bay. I even barricaded our starboard side. You can never be too careful.
Walter.
You've got to keep doing what you're doing. And I I'm using the boat engines to give our bats a little water. extra boost. But I could use some more surplus overcharge to keep the engines going. I called your buddy Sam for help. He's got a lead on some big barrels full of overcharge. That's right. I marked the locations of some trucks on your map. Get there and I'll give you further instructions. on all the overcharge barrels, I can give you a rough idea where they are. Find the barrels, then carry them to the truck and toss them in the back. Once it's full, I'll do the rest. are unmatched. Okay, moving on.
another barrel? I tried to sound surprised there. Didn't work. somewhere close by. is saved.
There is one thing I need before I can commence with your vessel. Name it. You must help us slay the marauders that raided our food stores. But I already got you food. They also stole away with my kingdom's most sacred artifact. The crown of Fargania. Okay, but you guys should probably have guns. Nay, we shall not besmirch our honor with such sorcery. Sire, that is very fucking unwise. I am the king! By definition, everything I do is wise. Upon victory, I will construct your watercraft. To battle! <laughs> Ignatius is rallying the knights, but there is a problem. Lawrence the Leper was sent to procure a figurehead and has not returned. Lawrence the Leper? Uh-uh. Nope. No more leeches and cough syrup. That was a one-time deal. Don't worry, he's not contagious. I don't think. Just get to the seafront shopping town. We need that figurehead. already spreading. Ignatius just calls me that because I gave his sister crabs. Well, <laughs> he sent you on a really fucked up mission. Where's the figurehead? They took it, man. Who took it? They're everywhere. This place makes Cambodia look like poison. Thing. It's fun. I'm not who I am. 
They told me I could How be anything, now, young so I became Dino. I see you have found the figurehead. By the way, Lawrence is dead. Leprosy takes its toll yet again. Littlefoot, taketh the figurehead and hitch it to yon siegecraft. Fargus! Time to make war! Onward, my princes! The Lord of Barbaria comes for you! in the dragon's tail. Yeah, but it's barricaded the whole way. We have made arrangements for that. Billy, my paladin, escort us to the wall. Hey, off. It's Merlin and his band of losers. Fight this with your foam swords. Fire! Paladin, use your magic missiles to shoot down those projectiles. The campaign is going quite
Ironmen! Onward! Awake, Iron! Awake and drink the blood of these ruffians! Be there a cleric on the field? Anyone have a healing potion? Alack, tis too late. My blood, my blood. My blood boils! Give me a fucking gun! <laughs> If you want your stupid crown, you'll have to come and take it from me! Flanking! A horde of beasts approaches! Aye, tis an uglysome one at that! Paladin, we will hold back the horde! Destroy the fireworks! Set fire to his castle! Hear me, Fargarthians. 
Victory is ours this day, and it would not be possible without our champion. And the time has come for our great paladin to leave us. But if you ever need me, send a raven or something. Fear not, my subjects. Let us return to Fargarthia and let flow the mead! What about my boat? Return to our castle on the morrow. Then I shall commence shipbuilding. Come to the base. The fleet is ready. The fleet is ready. What the hell is this? These boats are junk. I am only following the plan that Master Brill Cream called for. You shall be safe with me, matey. Wendy? Trying out a new role. Bard didn't work out so well. On your journey, thou hast three tasks. Protect the flagship. Seek out the fiery elixirs. Throw the elixirs into the hole to heal the ship. We need to patch up the ship before tackling the high seas. Grab some trash from over there. Trash? I thought he said fiery elixir. Great! Now bring it back and throw it in the hole. Started this game collecting trash, now I'm collecting trash again. Perfect! Now let's get going. Fare thee well, Paladin. We shall sing songs of your exploits. But not right now! I name this ship HMS. Survive in this. Uh, maybe not you. I'll respawn right over there. The flagship is damaged! Grab the flag! Have been no stomach for war!
Another drawbridge up ahead. Looks like it has two switches. Aye, aye, Captain. Hurry back! We're taking damage! Up she goes! The flagship is damaged! Grab some trash! Mm, I'm not an engineer, but maybe we're having problems with our seaworthiness because we're fixing the vo- More trash! Thanks, Lucy! Fine work! Tight squeeze!
Fisco sensors. Hopefully we'll pass undetected and float away with the rest of the trash. No life forms on board. 100% waste. Okay, I'll take back everything that I said about brokerage. The trash disguise is actually pretty easy. Total garbage. Trash. Complete rubbish. Unwanted junk. Fizco. Go suck yourself, Sunset City. Hello, vacation. Sam? Help! Fizco is getting rid of the evidence! What evidence? Us! We're the evidence! We have 
have to go. You're damn right we have to go. We're going right out to sea. We have to go back. Are you crazy? My friends need me. Ah, that'll be fine. We just went through hell to get out of there. Why would you want to go back? Before this whole thing started, I just floated through life, never taking anything seriously. Then horror night happened, and I know this is going to sound crazy, but my life didn't start until the world came to an end. That's why we're going back. What if I say no? Aye, aye, Captain! Hold fast! We're coming about! If you want to save your friends, you should go to Troop Bushido's base. Now! Go! Go now! We're in trouble!
we're safe for now. We're not safe. We're far from safe. Ah! I better go check on Sam. Hurry. Thanks for your help.
crap! Did you see that thing blow? That was amazing! Don't you mean we were amazing? We just killed the big robot! Yeah, we were amazing! I'm going to see if I can find anything interesting in the wreckage. Hey, I just got done decoding that data drive we got off that big Fizco mech, and it doesn't look good. There's lots of talk of an imminent threat that's going to destroy Sunset City entirely. How mysterious. Can we stop it? That's the thing! The data is so encrypted, I haven't been able to figure out what it is. All I know is that it's being stored somewhere inside Fizco HQ. Then it looks like it's time for some b and &E. That's gonna be difficult, even for you. The security at Fizco HQ is super tight, but I was watching some nearby camera feeds, and I noticed someone's been getting in there at night. Who? I can't really tell, but they look like... cheerleaders? With, like, Dave the Dead makeup? Oh, them. I tracked them back to Sunset City Hospital. Uh, try knocking? Hey, I'm gonna ask you to do something weird, but don't freak out, okay? I'm intrigued. I need you to go and see my future self. He set up a new base downtown. I need to know if it turned out as cool as it is in mine right now. I'm gonna ask you to do something weird, but don't freak out, okay? I'm intrigued. I need you to go and see my future self. He set up a new base downtown. I need to know if it turned out as cool. Cool as it is in my mind right now. I'm glad to see you. Pretty dangerous out there, huh? Well, uh, as long as you're out there, you mind grabbing some comics for me? I'll totally make it worth your while. I just remember, my buddy Jason was a bus driver. I think I might have given him one. Oh man, this is great. Jason was dead, wasn't he? That's, uh, that's okay. You know, as I always say, comics are more important than friends. It would be awesome if you could find some more, though. I'm so stupid. I can't believe I forgot about Trina. She used to be my girlfriend, but then we had this super big blow up about Captain Thunder's origin story, and whatever, I was right. Anyway, she worked at the hotel down the road. Maybe you could find it there. One too. It was this guy, Terry. Kind of sketchy, and the B.O. on that guy. Jesus. I think he joined a gang of scabs. See, the thing is, I borrowed some comics from this guy, Anton. Then I let them to some of my friends, but I forgot which friends, and this guy, Anton, he's gonna kill me if he finds out I don't have his comics. Seriously, I think he, like, kills people for a living. Construction. Huge. 
huge comic geek. Like, every day at lunch, he would go read at the same place. So, uh, maybe he left it there? Amazing. I just remembered, Anton was right next door the whole time. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, come get your reward. Hey, I, I was thinking about this whole apocalypse thing. So lots of people died and it's really sad. So why should their comics go to waste, right? A bunch of our regular customers had really good collections and they lived in the area, so go rescue those lonely comics.
Nice. Here, I found this in the back closet. It'll totally make you look like a superhero. You can be like the superhero who liberates comic books during the mutant apocalypse. That would be an amazing comic. Hey, I got this story idea. Check it out. Okay. You're the comic knight, upholder of the comics code and defender of comics in the apocalypse. What do you think? <laughs> it's awesome, huh? I draw it up, but I, I can't draw or write. But I love reading. I got some leads on some more. You know, if you're truly the hero this city needs. We shipped out a bunch of books the week before the city turned. As Comic Knight, it's really your duty to liberate them from the clutches of the enemy and return them to good owners. <laughs> I feel like an idiot talking to myself. Maybe that makes me...
Mint saves more luscious mint pages from the grips of gross city villains. Uh, no, gross city is such a, that's a terrible name. I need a good name for what Sunset City has become. Something, I don't know, like, darker, like, 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 uh, like Twilight City. Oh, oh man, that's, that's good. Yeah, and it, it appeals to girls, too. <laughs> Your comic is going to be such a hit. to save the comics of Twilight City. The story needs more. How about a villain? Yes, a villain. Someone who hates comics. Like my ex. <laughs> Just kidding. Not really. I actually never had a girlfriend, whatever. Anyway, I, I gotta think about this. Just uh, keep up that first edition Justice comic night. Sticking feathers up my butt does not make me a turkey.
right? Right? Maybe you, you, you used to be lovers or whatever, but then she had like a freak drowning accident, and now she's only being kept alive by a symbiotic mold, an evil mold, and the mold is in her head, making her totally crazy. I can see the movie already. I mean, think about what would happen if her musty mildew has ever got near your magic comic. Who knows if kitty litter and baking soda could even bring the magic back. Your magic comic ever gets musty. You can always collect more comics to restore your power. Then we can have a whole series of comeback issues building up to a climactic fight. This can easily be one of the most issues. Incidental. This is a monumental tragedy. I mean, she blames the comics. And maybe you secretly blame uh, myself.
Thanks. So, now you ready for this ending? Definitely not. So in order to defeat Musty Mildew, the Comic Knight has to sacrifice the very thing he loves most. The Super Mint Magic Comic? Yeah. How did you know? Huh. I guess you are the Comic Knight. Yeah, and I'm not doing it. I've got comics to save. No way I'm giving up my powers for moldy old love. Wow, you're such an anti-hero. There's so much truth in this art. I'm done collecting. I've got to get to writing all this down. And you, good luck out there, Comic Knight. One man in this town believes in you. you do something weird but don't freak out okay i'm intrigued i need you to go and see my future self he set up a new base downtown i need to know if it turned out as cool as it is in my mind right now ah our knight is ready to smite new evil in the realm of fargathia i fear the evil hath spread to the north make haste hey sam so these fiscal controllers aren't really doing much evil they're not doing much of anything, really. What do you think they're for? I wish I knew. Best just to destroy them. Although, if you find out anything by listening to their transmissions, let me know. Waiting for protocol X26. Protocol not detected. Floating. Blinking. Blinking. Detected. Stuck functioning properly. Waiting for Fisco Protocol X26. Protocol not detected. Duck barnacle checked. Barnacles detected. Duck functioning properly. Waiting for Fisco Protocol X26. Protocol not detected. Duck barnacle check. Barnacles detected. Duck functioning properly. Waiting for Fisco Protocol X26. Protocol not detected. Duck barnacle check. Barnacles detected. Dark 
functioning properly. Waiting for Fisco Protocol X26. <laughs> It seems like they're all waiting around for some Protocol X-26 thing. Protocol X-26? Huh? I'll cast a net and look around the city-wide network see what I can find. Matters not to us, good knights, as long as the beam-maddening crimson eyes have gone dark. Thou hast bravery for a thousand men. something weird, but don't freak out, okay? I'm intrigued. I need you to go and see my future self. He said a... Hardcore? Sir Hardcore! 
Fire catapults! What the hell? You trying to kill me? Hardcore! Oh, you want me to shoot stuff out of the sky? I get it. The blades of Vargarthia are at your command. New fashion. That's absolutely perfect for you. It's utterly you. Darling, you will look magnificent. Oh, sweetie, you can't even afford to look at that.
love it. You look glorious. Dear, that's absolutely perfect for you. It's utterly you. Oh, put that on. I'm sure I'll love it almost as much as you will. So, Chandler is pleased you have returned. Hail, adventurer! An oppressive golem of sorcery runs rampant! I have penned a campaign in which thee, a brave paladin, taketh on this fearsome foe. Ignatius, if you need me to destroy a Fizzcobot, just tell me where it is. Indeed! All will reveal it when thee hath gained the proper XP. Henceforth thou art a warrior of level one. Toby. Ugh. Did Ignatius send you? Look, I just wanted some me time, okay? I'm supposed to protect you from goblins. There's no goblins here. Oh shit, goblins! <laughs> You saved me. Ugh, I guess that means I have to go back to Fargarthia. I never get to work on my dance moves in private. Excellent work, Boria. For that encounter, 700 XP! Level up! You know, at level two, thou remindeth me of the babe. Loving this campaign, Ignatius. I knew you would! Now, the second task. There is one ring I very much desire. 
This elusive ring is only carried at a particular merchant near downtown. Thy ring is called the Species, and it should look stunning on mine hairy paws. Tally ho! One ring. Named Specious. <laughs> hey, Ignatius, do you know what the word plagiarism means? Just find the day. something to a friend sure but watch out there might be some fisco bots snooping around the rail stop next door perfect hey boo boo let's show ignatius our dreamy bond you remember this old kitty launcher don't you hey ignatius i'm about to get my war look at a magical wolf impressive defeat yonder warlocks and let xp rain upon evil <laughs> A lot of fish though, guys. Watch your lucky robot. Hey, buddy. I see you again. Bravo! Thou art a formidable. I adore that piece. I can't wait to see you in it.
dear, that's absolutely perfect for you. Oh, I love it. You look glorious. Oh, put that on. I'm sure I'll love it almost as much as you will. Oh, that look, that style, it's utterly you. Darling, you will look magnifique. Adventurer, the final test of courage approacheth, and we have prepared thine army. <gasps> I get my own army now? Awesome! Verily. Presenting Siegfried the Great! Don't worry, he upgrades. This is great. Thank you, kind sir. Now, with thine army of Siegfrieds, thou shalt liberate Fargarthia. Travel to yon battlefield. Thine Siegfried army awaits! Oh, I adore that piece. I can't wait to see you in it. Oh, put that on. I'm sure I'll love it almost as much as you will. So, Chandler is pleased you have returned. shall fight the goblin army across yonder bridges. But this is just a ruse to lure out the king of the warlocks. Save thine power for his arrival. If thee smites the king, the kingdom's riches shall be yours. But first, prepare thine troops. Captain! Captain? Level 9? Ignatius, I'm honored! Hmm, I might have read my own guide incorrectly. Let me see here. Uh, that's better. Now, prepare those... What am I... Let the great battle begin! Goblins approach from yon western bridge! Siegfried has left! 
Name's Red. Boat's name is Charlene. I admit I was drunk as a boil hour when I ran her aground, but who wasn't that night all the baddies took over, am I right? I... <laughs> anyway, help an old sort, won't you? Those winged baddies been dive-bombing my boat day and night. I'm almost done rigging up some defenses. Just hold them off a little while longer.
Genuine anti-aircraft cannonry, or at least the uh, trash can equivalent. Well, let's go kill some baddies. Point out a target, now send it to hell. Fire! Here they come. Give me a sec to reload. Let the slaughter begin. <laughs> that showed him. Thanks for spotting for me. You're a real deckhand, you know? I think I'll make Charlene here a safe haven for travelers. Defensible against land, sea, and air. You do something weird, but don't freak out, okay? Hey, I'm gonna ask you to do something weird, but don't freak out, okay? I'm intrigued. I need you to go and see my future self. He set up a new base downtown. I need to know if it turned out as cool as it is in my mind right now. Breathe slowly and prepare to be rescued.
subtle. Look who's awake. I needed a moment alone with you. Do you think that's wise in front of the kids? I ah, brought you inside ah. so you can see what Las Catrinas does here. It's important. Now you know why I won't tolerate pentejos playing games. Okay! Easy, Guantano. It's Esperanza. Look, there's bad shit coming our way soon. I can help you and your kids. But first, you have to get me into Fizco HQ. There's nothing there. We checked. It's fully automated. No food or medicine. I'm not after food or medicine. Then you got nothing I need. Now stay away from my kids. Okay, here's how this is gonna go. First I'll run some errands for you, then you'll like me, and then you'll help me. Not gonna happen. Trust me, works every time. Now, if I were a cheerleader, what would I want? Hmm, no. Remember, these are badass assassins. Yes, a sword. Are you comfortable? Hey, for Kim, so I'm looking for the most badass sword in the Samurai Museum. Can you hook me up? Hmm, well, the best sword in the city is not in the museum. Really? Is there one last samurai still roaming the city, killing OD, scabs, and the unworthy with the finest sword in the land? What? No. The best sword in Sunset City is in that swanky high-rise at the north end of downtown. Our rich Fizco marketing executive bought it. It was in the news before all the stuff hit the fan. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go give that Fizco exec a swordectomy. That hut really speaks to your frugality. I built something for you because I know you like killing guys so very much. Stop wasting my time. Big shot. Probably got a fancy rooftop, penthouse style. Subject detected. Whole place is crawling with Fizco, but not for long. Subject weekend. Cover up. 
your great object be victory, not lengthy campaigns. Our campaign was total. Regulators torn through like paper, and now the city pays the price. I must pay for my crimes with business seppuku, so I am retiring upstate, taking nothing with me but my priceless antique Japanese or possibly Chinese sword. Oh, what the hell? They can keep those dumb super titanium excellence in marketing awards. Son of a bitch! Hello? Hey, Wendy. You're a blacksmith, right? How do you make a sword? Well, 
First off, you need some good source metals. Steel is good, or I guess you could make steel from iron. But that's a bitch and a half. Source metals, huh? All right, let's see what we got around here. Excellence in marketing. More like excellence in ego stroking. But they're nice and heavy. These will do. Okay, got some super titanium. What's the next step? You need a forge, an oven that gets really hot. Heat, huh? What about atomic power? Atomic power? Do you want to make a sword that will kill other people or yourself? Hell yeah! A nuclear sword! Can't forget, I can fast trap. Ah, oh, can't forget, I can fast travel. Oh, me! I can't work in these conditions! Shit trophies melting. Oh, I bet I can melt these trophies on that steam vent. Time to heat up this forge. I could try to adjust the plant's temperature controls, or I could just break them and see what happens. Is there any question which option is better? <laughs> Gotta smash those temperature controls.
move down and start hammering away. over there.
did see that, right? Fine. I guess they want me to come inside to collect my accolades. Coming! I supposed to do with that stab some people make nights fry food out of the hospital vending machines it slaps it chops so many uses no thanks now scram wait look how powerful this thing is oh shit that was an accident Hard. Hmm, they neutered my nuclear sword. Hey, Floyd, I gotta think of some ways to impress these girls, make them like me. You got any ideas? Sword thing didn't work out? Well, I still have it, so no. My advice? Find a way into their hearts. What do they care about most in the world? Hell if I know. Beating the shit out of me? Ugh, seriously! What is gonna make you crazy ladies happy? When we don't see you no more. Get cancer. Then they'll love you. Lie down. I'll get rid of them and you can sleep. It's okay, Esperanza. Can't like this be my visiting hours or something? Hey, sorry. I didn't mean to throw you off. It's just, Las Katrinas is crazy, you know? Believe me, I know. But they're cool. I just, I want to get out of here. <laughs> I don't know if any of us are getting out of here. I mean, you're getting out of here. Uh, listen, is there anything you need? Um... I never got to go to a baseball game. Not missing much. I could spit peanut shells at your feet. Pretty much the same thing. I never got to climb a mountain. But you never got to fall off a mountain either. You're not in here for falling off a mountain, are you? I never got to see a rock concert. What? That's no way to live. Every kid needs to rock. You want a show? I'll give you a show. What do you mean? You're gonna get the rock show of a lifetime! Are you serious? I don't kid around about rock and roll. Okay, we need a band. Put on your promoter hat. Well, Wendy plays a pretty mean loot. Let's see if she's up for it.
Those shoes. Well, it is the apocalypse. There you are. I whipped up something special last night. You're looking stronger already. I'm done LARPing. I'm done with the city. As soon as I fix this boat, I'm out of here. I'm forming a band! And I need people who can rock! Really? That sounds cool. You know, I played bass in a band one time. It was only a garage band. You're in! Awesome! I'm actually excited! For once. I'd come and hug you, but I, I, I can't swim. Do you think you could tow my boat in for me? for just one harpoon. You need to attach two harpoons.
you got your bass player. When's the show? I need a little time to practice. Tonight, at my base downtown. Cool. I'll meet you there. I need a drummer. Aren't they just hobos with girlfriends? Sam, I need a drummer. I think Four Kim plays the drums. She has a merit badge for percussion on her sash. Not that I was looking at her chest or anything. Do you know where she is? Yeah, she's over by the concert hall. I'll tell her you're coming. Sam told me you need a drummer. Up for it? Sure, but I need a kit. There's a bunch of drums in that truck down there. I got this. Found the drum kit! And some... Watch out! Hopper's incoming! Where? Are you okay? Wait, I got an idea! Hey, hey! Now get to the next one without touching the ground! Sam. He's too whiny. Uh, not Floyd. He's too... Floyd. Rock fest, huh? That's a long shot, but I'll give it a try. In the flesh, so to speak. I'm putting on a show for some sick kids. I I've got a bass player and a drummer, but I could really use a front man. Benefit show, huh? Cool. I'm there. Awesome! I've got a bass a few blocks away. Meet me there in a few hours. I know the place. I'll be there. Now, if you could just take a step back. Like this? You are coming tonight, right? I said I was. Yes, yes you did. 
You still standing out there? No! I mean, yeah, uh, not on purpose. I just, you know, uh, tying my shoe. The Melvins are actually gonna play at my place. Well, the idea of the world was pretty damn great. <laughs> The Melvins are actually gonna play at my place. Sometimes the end of the world is pretty damn great. I had to put some fuse boxes around the base so we can get loud. Downside is they might be powered by a little bit of overcharge, which means OD will come running. So lay down some traps just like you always do. Let Buzz know when you're ready to start rocking. You are. I whipped up something special last night. You want to check it out? Gotta keep time to piss off the neighbors. Check. One, two, check. You did good. <laughs> That's an understatement. You made a kid with tonsillitis happy. It's not like you saved the world or anything. Yeah, I d tonsillitis? I thought he had cancer. Well done, little man. Well done. We need a little more time to set up. Keep those OD out of the base, and we'll get started as soon as we can. Hey, one thing, don't let the OD near the fuse boxes. They're really delicate. Get away from the fuse boxes.
desert. Don't make my kids sad, or I'll make you dead. I thought you were gonna get killed quickly. Then I thought I was gonna kill you. But now I look forward to our time together. Until you're killed. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Uh-uh. This is the nicest thing. I'll show you how to get into Fisco HQ. But sneaking you in is as far as I'm willing to go. If we get killed with you, then the kids are as good as dead. Okay. I think I have a plan. Good. Let's meet there. Hey, man. What a kawinky dink I was just about to call you. I've been thinking. No, bad things happen when you start thinking, Floyd. Aha. Uh -huh, ha. That wasn't funny at all. Pretty dumb, actually. You gotta work on your act. Anyway, now that you got all us misfits working together, let's show our survivor pride. I made a United Factions flag. Use it to replace the fiscal flags around the city. Let's take over downtown. Time to show everybody that Fisco don't mean shit anymore, right? I mean, except for all those motherfucking robots. Motherfucking robots. Uh. Continue Fisco, cover up the call. Watch your back! I bet my four to fifth old Fisco's not gonna give up their flag without a f The Fisco bots are going for the flag!
got more flags to place. Come see me when you're ready for the next one. Ready to raise some more flags? Well, stop looking at me and get out there. Flags are in the old factory district. once said, art washes away the dust of everyday life. So, thank you to whoever did this. Pretty cool.
machine. I mean, not literally. You're more than that to me. It's just, uh, you know, whatever, whatever. Come back. You're ready for the next one. Las Katrinas is scary, man. I'd rather go up against Fisco than Let them the any flags day. fly in the Harbor District. You know the drill. Take out any Fisco bots and raise the United Factions flag. Okay, let's take care of those flags in the harbor. Hey. like a tree and die!
<laughs> this is our armor now. Come back when you're waiting for the next one. That concert was intense. <laughs> it's it's funny. All right. How about Walter we raise another hated. flag? And that by, by me we, I mean, little. I'm not going to lift a goddamn finger, but I'll be rooting for you. Looks like it's off to Little Tokyo.
Hey, you don't want to make these vats even better? If you make them better, go kill some physical robots and look through the guts. You're looking for a piece like this one, here. I have no fucking idea what it does, but it looks important, doesn't it? Get five of them. Should be enough to kick these vats into overdrive. Oh. Ooh, overdrive. That's a good word. Fisco should have named their drink overdrive. They're overcharged, don't you think? These marketing folks sure fucked that one up.
Watch your motherfuckers are gonna make those bats awesome. I hope. Way to go.
One of our sisters is missing. We have to stay here and protect the kids. But if she's in trouble, or worse... Where was she last seen? Downtown. She was scouting a group of scabs. If something happened, she must be mourned properly. Bloody shoe and a megaphone? Wonder what that means. It means the scabs killed her. And ate her? Face the effigy. You will now play some traditional music. Now, avenge her while the music is playing. Las Katrina style! Make sure that they see before they die or the flowers. Las flores de los muertos! Hey, Chica, you're supposed to be dead. Oh my god, did my sister send you to kill all those scabs because of me? Ugh, typical. Look, it's super righteous protecting the kids and all, but a girl needs a life, you know? <sighs> I faked my death so I could move in with my boyfriend. Hey. Johnny used to be a scab, but he's changed his ways. My sisters wouldn't understand. They'd probably kill him. Please don't kill me. And don't tell them you saw me, okay? You know, a whole lot of people just died because of your forbidden love. 
I feel like I just took part in a Shakespearean tragedy. I vowed to Esperanza I would stay here and protect the Niños, but I haven't seen my father in weeks. He was a Fisco engineer, so he might know a way for us to escape the city or something. Could you go find him for me? His apartment is on the west side of downtown. Check there first. Come back to Callista when you have the money. Dear, that's absolutely perfect for you. Style, it's utterly you. Oh, I love it. You look glorious. Oh, put that on. I'm sure I'll love it almost as much as you will.
I adore that piece. I can't wait to see you in it. So the little girl went to the hard rockin' ball and danced to the music, and he gave her the courage to... My name is Hector. He's pretty short and kind of fat, too. But he's really handsome and has this awesome chin dimple. Oh, I miss him. Hey, I used to know a raccoon named Hector. He lived in the alley of my apartment. Then one day I found his guts all splattered on the wall. I think a trash truck ran him over. <laughs> Hector was pretty fat. Probably couldn't move fast enough to get out of the way. <laughs> Poor Hector. Shouldn't have eaten so much trash. Sir Captain and Commander, level 99. Hail, Sir Captain and Commander, level 99. Robbie! My right? name is Squire Robert, sire. Yeah, don't do that. So, your sister's looking for your dad, Hector. Do you have any idea where he might be? My sister? That toad-spotted pig not lives? Pfft. Anyway, my last words from my father indicated he was journeying to his place of labor. On his way to work. At Fisco? Verily. Uh, all right. Thanks. No scrolls, no potions. What kind of... to lead me to Hector. Hello! It's so 
someone out there. Hey, are you Hector? Me, yes. I've been trapped in this damn escape pod for weeks. I'm almost out of fish. Escape pod? Part of the evacuation plan in case the apocalypse hit. But the sensors must not have triggered enough dead bodies. If there's one thing I'm good at making, it's dead bodies. Now where are those sensors? to a sensor. Yes, I'm out of range of the sensor. Plan, Fizco. Hey, did you find my father? Sorry, Hector now sleeps with the fishes.
you uh, need help with anything? Me? No. Just closing up shop, honey. You sure you don't need something? I mean, there's a spinny icon above your head, and it's really compelling. What's that? Oh, just testing it out. Making sure it's rotating properly. Go on, sweetie. I'm fine here. Fine, but I really shouldn't be giving into a quest junkie. Here's the deal, sweet pea. I rent out these icons so people can help each other. There's a bunch of overdue icons out in the city. Find them for me and bring them back. Don't hurt the merchandise. Okay, sweetie? Why people think they can rent these things and never return them? It's not like you can do anything with them when you're done with them. People are just lazy. Overdue quest icon. I thought you were here for some chili. Anyway, I traded my icon to some guy up the road for some nice teddy bear slippers. Bear slippers, huh? Only one guy in this city that bold. Concert one. Too bad. I could have researched the shit out of that thing. Now sign. Quest icon. Got bored and threw it away. To be specific, in the dumpster around back. The quest icon? Well, according to Troop Bushido code, we must recycle everything. I came up with an idea to use it as bait in one of our traps. Uh, wouldn't that just kill people trying to help you? Ugh! I didn't think about that. Dang it! I suck at everything! Can you go fix that? You can keep the icon if you want. Everybody got that? Hey. Sir Captain and Commander, level 99. Hardcore! Oh, let me guess. You got all hardcore and broke your quest icon into pieces and now they're scattered all over Fargarthia? Hardcore? Sir Chandler is at your service, good squire. Hail, Sir Captain and Commander, level 99. Sir Captain and Commander! How goeth the Goblin War? 
I have a new beast that will help you kill things even better. Hmm. Hopefully she can just duct tape these pieces back together or something. We use our quest icon to encourage survivors to donate money for the children. If you want the icon, you gotta finish today's rounds. you do. Yeah, this is all we have. What do you need? Money? Ammo? Fealty? Take it all. Oh, you poor thing. Of course I'll help. This quest icon is OP! Prepare to die. Take my money! Aren't you a face that needs assistance? Here. Children. I thought it's not yours. Okay, that's all the icons. I better get something good for this. Not exactly mint condition, but still functional. Thanks, honey. What is it about these icons that make people so damned helpful? It ain't the icons, baby. It's what you get on the back end. Here. One more piece of evidence to make sure this will all hold up in court. Head to the Sunset Water Treatment Plant. We believe the mainframe computer at the plant may still contain some incriminating data about Fizco. The power at the plant is down. You'll have to clean it up and get it running again to access the computers. Good luck and Godspeed.
to turn on the computers. Water treatment system check. Data drive error. Beginning data drive defragmentation. Oh, hello, Fist Robots. Wasn't expecting you guys. Nice job, Patsy. You did all the cleanup our automated system couldn't handle. You found all our secrets and in the process, destroyed all the evidence. Bravo! Son of a... Now the secrets die with you! Time to go all in. I know you're all wondering why I called you here tonight. Take a look around. All of this will be yours someday. 
or we'll be dead. I found a hidden code buried in a Fizco data drive. I've only decoded a small piece, but it is a massive bit of work. They are planning something huge, and to find out what, I need access to the server room in their headquarters. But that's in their headquarters. That will be a monumental task. Well, what's our plan? It's frustrating. With all the automation and whatnot, there ain't nobody to shoot. If I may address the court, you said you needed everyone. Yet we are not all here. I see the painted tarts are not here. <laughs> here! Oh! I'm here, but you're not the DM of me, Flandas. I was listening. And I'm not letting you attack Fisco HQ without Las Catrinas. <sighs> Together we'll take Fisco down. Or we won't, but we'll get some wicked respawn animations. Who's with me? For Fogarthia! For the Oxfords! For True Bushido! Para los niños! For the footage! For each other. We knights of Fogarthia are hell! and eager to escape. Master. 
having a stroke or something. Focus, Sam! Okay, okay. Give me a few minutes. Oh, what the hell is the start menu? I just lost the best friend I've ever had. We all lost a friend. And the world lost a hero. A hero that will live on, in this city and in our hearts forever. Oh, 
wait a minute. That's the ending? Are you serious? Uh, whose idea was that? Yours? Or yours? Bad move, guys. Neogaf is gonna eat you alive. You know what? I deserve a better ending. I got an idea. Okay, rewind! I just lost the best friend I've ever had. on milk and crackers. All right, so be honest. That whole riding the bottle into the building thing didn't look as cool as it felt. It's real, Floyd. And if you 
stop talking about it. It's real? Well, then quit talking and kill the shit out of it. Jeez. This ain't social hour, you know. We used to, we used to have social hour when I was in third grade. This is tower. Yeah, we just sit around and talk shit. Hanging up now. the hero that Sunset City deserves or the hero it needs, but I'm pretty much all it's got, so everybody can just deal with it.
Mr. Brillcrave is missing. Have you seen him? No. Have you looked down? I can help you find him. Thanks, Sam. I think you should help me for a reason. Combat skills. They'll come in useful on the rig. Rig?
Things OD are coming from an offshore oil rig owned by Mo Oil. My sister could be out there, and she could be in trouble. We'll have to fly out and investigate. I don't know, man. Last time I flew, it didn't work out so well. Don't worry. Have a plan. Don't have much time. Resistance! Find the foreman's office! 
There should be an incident log there that will help us track down my sister. I feel like we should at least mention the giant Cthulhu OD that's bound to be a boss fight at some point. Don't worry about that now. Let's just find my sister and get out of here. Maybe that was your sister. Kidding. Sort of. Maybe. <laughs> for Gwyneth Brillcream? <coughs> that executive. Wait, are you from management? I didn't put her on that boat. It was them union roughnecks. I'm not from management. Never will be. Where's this boat she's on? I can show you, but I ain't coming out of here until it's safe. Safety first. You tell management I said that. There's eggs or some shit gunking up the rig. Clear them up and I'll help you find that executive lady.
Barrett. Then we'll head over to the navigation room. So much for safety first. Hey, Brokery, you still out there? Did you find the foreman? Yeah, but he died of stupidity. He said we can find your sister's ship if we get to the navigation room. We'll go there together. Meet me down by the water. Hey there, friend. Is there anything I can help you with? I was going to ask you the same thing. Herbert, who is that? Just a friend, Mother. You stay away from strange adults. They probably have germs. Your mother's right. I am an adult and I do have germs. But I am not the strange one in this scenario. <sighs> I just want to do something fun. Hey, I can make you a weapon if you get me some parts. What do you say? So, Herbert, your mother. Explain. I just want to be out here for a few weeks. And one day I send Mom an email telling her I was a little That's it. I, I, I said a little lonely. And she shows up the next day. Gotta find something to hook onto this thing. Mothers know best. Mothers think they know best. Maybe I can use a crane. Here's your weapon. 
I hope you like it, dear. You know, the saddest part about that whole thing is that most people under 30 won't understand the reference. The navigation room is at the top of that rig. But getting there won't be easy. I have a plan for getting to the navigation room. Oh, yeah? What's the plan?
See that one from like Cygnus X? <laughs> Was that an attempt at astrology humor? Astronomy. Potato, potato. Just start with more fire and I'll be able to triangulate your exact position. explode when it gets close to the rig. Ah, stop the ship! Brill Cream, what do we do? Come to me. I have a plan. Hey, over here. In the super expensive personal submarine. You know what the key is to directing a great film? Lots of money. There's sunken treasure around here somewhere, and I'm going to use it to finance my next masterpiece. You want to help? I can offer you a producer credit and a couple of gross points. is going to hell. Remake sequels, it's all bullshit. This is cinema, not some stupid video game or comic book. We're better than that. Hey, as long as I'm waiting, will you accept my friend request? I need 10 more red beans to level up my farm in Bucolicville. Damn it, man! Holy shit, that's the so good! Finally, people will see my true vision. And with the 
tools we've created, we can save millions of dollars per film. We just need a couple more billion to finish off the tech. marks the spot. charts I just work so hard to get? <laughs> Not really, but it's like having a finished screenplay before you start filming. Completely unnecessary, but it makes it feel official. Ah, dick! Finding those charts. Seriously. I should hire you as an unpaid intern. Now, let's bring up that wreckage. Okay, I've attached the balloons. Here she comes.
my movie budgets are so high. My response? Perfection is expensive. I wouldn't spend so much money on my movies. I wouldn't spend so much to go to the theater and watch them. <laughs> That's just economics. Just stole some treasure. Okay, your cut might seem small, but we gotta leave money for marketing and distribution. If all goes well, my film should be hitting the theaters in about 22 years. Wish me luck.
shit's coming back! Kill the shit out of it! Holy moly! We must destroy those weapons! Here I come!
Are you okay? I'm almost out of my anxiety meds. You know how stressful that is? You look different. Anyway, thank you for getting rid of all those nasty roughnecks. Ugh, makes my job much easier. I thought you were coming out here to help them. Help the Union, please. I came out here to get rid of them. Try to make them drink overcharge, make Fizco take the blame. Then we're free to hire overseas labor. Wait a sec. You tried to kill all the Union workers so you could replace them with cheaper labor? Duh. How else do you think I earn my ridiculous salary? Who are you, anyway? Never mind. Just give me your phone. I want to deliver the good news to the board. Come on, give me your fucking phone. Are you deaf or just stupid? I don't have all day. Show me your tentacles! Bad idea, monster! <laughs> 
Think we killed it? Hard to tell, but one thing I do know. We're all safe. For now. Ha! <laughs> Except your sister. She's definitely dead. Sorry. Hey, you know what makes me feel better when I'm down? Killing stuff! Stuff that's not your sister, I mean.
before Kim's fallen in love with someone else? Wait, what? You, you think she's in love with me? <laughs> Duh! So what's this crisis situation you've got? I forgot. Oh, a couple of my former teachers are trapped inside the Fisco Robotics Factory. You have to get in there and help them. Now, in order to gain access to the Robotics Factory, you have to get past the invisible wall. And in order to do that, you have to hitch a ride on a Fisco drone. But in order to do that, you have to get to a network relay station and download some flight schedules. I lost you after the third word. <laughs> Just go to the area marked on your map. So, where are you sending me again? You'll need to hitch a ride on a drone in order to get into the robotics factory. Right now, you're going to download some flight schedules. Why can't you just do that from your little hacker's den? Because it's much easier to make you do it. Honesty. I like it. What did you do? Um, what you told me to do? The SIGTRAN circuit appears to be malfunctioning. You'll need to find a new one before we can download the flight schedules. Looks like those scabs raided a utility truck. Look in those crates for a SIGTRAN circuit. Okay, what's my hook? You've got to be here somewhere. The SIGTRAN circuit? Maybe to you. To me, it's just a McGuffin.
Okay, now get to the cargo container. Here comes the drone. Don't move. Attack drones carrying cargo. Oh, great plan, Sam. I'm a sitting duck up here. Yeah, but you're a duck with guns. Use them.
tight. The shield should go down as soon as you get close to it. Should? Well, there's always a chance you could get zapped with a few million volts. Sam! If you catch on fire, remember, stop, drop, and roll. Sensory chips. Data drive backup. Commence. If you make a mess, the cleaner bots will be summoned. Try breaking some crates. Just grab that memory module. 
module. Okay, one more piece. We need to upgrade his laser actuator. There should be a bunch just lying around the factory. much better. We found this weapon in a pile of junk. It doesn't work, but it has a note attached to it. Maybe you can figure out what's missing. Good news! I just booked a pinch meeting with the Fizco execs. Now I have an excuse to get this weapon working properly. I put everything into it. If I don't sell them on it, I'm ruined. Hmm. Hope this guy left more entries around the factory for me to find. Nice! says launching a new weapon in this economy is tough. Everybody is risk averse, but I believe in my design, and I believe the demand for something different is out there. Just had my pitch. Nailed it. They love my design, and once I have it, I put my proprietary sat relay into their equipment, they were sold. They said they've been looking for a weapon like this in their new portfolio. We shook hands, and now I'm just waiting for them to drop the papers. What a day! Huh. Wonder what's taking so long. Lawyers, I guess. 
They told me to wait here in the inventor's lounge. So here I am, surrounded by a bunch of other people who just sold stuff to Fisco. Oh, I should probably get my set relay back from their equipment. That's the key to the whole weapon. Hmm. Oh, I'm sleepy all of a sudden. Everyone's yawning. <laughs> it's contagious. So let's see if I can find this test equipment. Jack, I got new stuff. Need I say it wrong? Need to drive back up. I got new footage for an entire series. Out of there, my little bucky. Hey, I was thinking, Hell, with all these high-tech doodads around here, we can make a mighty fine weapon. What do you say? First things first, we're gonna need some kind of shooting mechanism. If you get to the assembly line nearby, you can find a quantum projector. Sounds highfalutin, but as long as it'll knock a buzzard off a gut wagon, it'll do. Okay... Prepare to die. Success. Not 
whole convoy of Fisco robotics trucks out in the city. Might find some in there. Appreciate the help, young man, but I could do without the condescending tone. I wasn't being condescending. Watch it. I wasn't born in a pepper patch. Um, I never said you were. Just help us find what we need and keep your toe in the basement. Here's them trucks. Pop them open and find those nanners.
a new toy to kill with, thanks to you and your friend. It was my pleasure. I mean, uh, it was finer than a frog's hair split up the middle and tied at both ends. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Something new, just your style. Okay, while we were locked up in here, we may have discovered a way to stop the production of all these robots. I'm listening. Please go program the kill code in their upgraded robots. We think. If we find the code, we can broadcast it factory wide and stop the production of these bots. Sounds like a good plan. Okay. Put on that robot outfit over there, and we'll get to work. I think I wore this to a Halloween party. In third grade. That suit will give you access to the maintenance closet. Once there, you can activate a reprogramming turret, which we'll need in order to download the kill code. So tell me more about this kill code thing. After Horror Night, Fiona and I found each other on campus. And we comforted each other. This cap's irrelevant. And it was a mistake. Just stating the facts. Anyway, fast forward to a couple of days ago, we captured a robot and found some strange hash values deep in its OS. And then we backed it and figured out that those hash values were actually a kill code. And we realized we could shut down this whole factory if we found those codes.
a switch somewhere to activate the nearby turret. Good, good. Now, the kill code is only accessible via a specially protected terminal. Fire that turret at some rifle bots. Once they're reprogrammed, they will take down the force field around the kill code terminal. May the best robot win. Training bot did not see that coming. Training bot always wins. Training bot is in trouble. Training bot will prevail. Bot did not see that coming. Advantage training bot. Training bot is in trouble. Training bot cannot be defeated. Training bot would be impressed. If training bot had emotions. Submit to training bot. Training bot is in trouble. Advantage training bot. Training bot did not see that coming. This is unprecedented. Now, Pitch K, there's another turret at the Bladebot factory. Go there with the module and reprogram some Bladebots. Let's 
One more and we're in business. You did it! Rogue program detected. Security detail dispatched. Get down there and help out your new robot friends.
Coco Terminal. Are you sure? That magnetic field carries a charge of over a thousand Teslas. Hey, don't worry. A dog can do anything. Give me a kiss. Huh. Robot dog has intimacy issues, I guess. Protocol to interrupt power to comm hubs when there's a security breach. How are we supposed to transmit the kill code if we don't have a working comm hub? Well, you could override the phase switch at the main transformer. Oh, good idea. I'm on it. Fiona, I want to apologize for underestimating you. A mistake many men have made. Better clear the place out before messing with the transformer thingy. from the security wall to the comm hub. That was not supposed to happen. Relax, we'll fix it. Let's start with getting the wall back up. The system uses a solid state field generator. Where are we gonna find that kind of power? Well, those tank bots are equipped with a cryogenic arc reactor, right? You're right. If we could plug one of those into the power grid, we could upgrade the capacity and- Guys, enough science talk. Just tell me what to do. Find a security tank bot and kill it. With pleasure. Whoa! Look at all 
this hot OD on Fizzbot action. Remember, you need to destroy the security tank bot and take its arc reactor. projectors all around the factory or you can roll the ball along the glowing energy conduits
Autobots and destroy them. Uh, what's with the countdown? Your energy field is unstable, but if you cover yourself in nanites, your electric charge will offset the magnetic surge when you power down. Okay, what if the counter reaches zero? There's a slight chance you could expire. Expire? You like a lump of red? More like a lump of atomic bombs. Destroy a tank bot. You'll cover yourself much faster. So, Fiona, I've been meaning to ask you. That night we comforted each other? Yeah. Wanna do it again? Uh, yes. Okay. No! This is not that kind of game. Now step away from each other and solve some platonic equations. you tell me it's about to get weird, remind me to listen. Okay, the comm hung it up. Time to transmit the kill code.
expected. Story of my life. You can't damage a cloud of nanites, but if you were to magnetize them... Yes! Uh, get to a magnetic charger, quickly! Overlocking the circuit should send out an EMP, freezing the cloud in place.
initiated.
for all that you've done. Don't thank me. Thank them. They did all the work. <laughs> Come on, wave. Who are we waving at? <laughs> 